All right, guys. Do, do, do. Let's, let's do it. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the live stream. We're going to be playing a little bit more modern Minecraft today. Age of Engineering is the mod plaque. The mod plaque. The mod pack that we are playing currently. I just updated it. We were using like a version that was about two years old. Two years old. Yes, we were using a version that was two years old. Two versions old. We've updated to the latest version, 1.0.0. Um, I don't know if there's any significant changes, but uh, yeah, that's where we're at right now. So I don't know, maybe things will run better. Maybe we'll see some bugs. Maybe bugs will be fixed. I don't know, but that's what we got going on. Uh, so notifications for the stream this morning. Uh, Lone Lore resubscribed to the channel for three months in a row before the stream even started. Thank you for the three months of continued support. Congratulations on your uh, three month subscriber loyalty badge. Appreciate the continued support. Uh, let's see. Loco Motiver with 20 bits filling up the cup. Thank you, Loco. Sunset Whiskey with 546 bits clearing the cup and then refilling it. Thank you, Sunset, for the bits. Uh, YT Hine. TV has hosted for 31 viewers. Welcome, everybody. Uh, thank you for the host. Appreciate it. And Loco Motiver has just subscribed with Twitch Prime. Thanks for the sub. Appreciate it. Uh, it says, I could be back and support the Hypno. Oh, my goodness. My headphones feel weird today. It's like my voice just doesn't feel as loud as it should be. There you go. Oh, you know what? I have a slider. I fixed it. I have. I fixed it. It sounds better now. Can you even grammar today, Hypno? I can't. I'm having a hard time Englishing today. I cannot brain today, apparently. Uh. Do, do, do. I'm trying to think. You know, <clears throat> I live in Montana, and I've told you guys that I don't like living here. This morning I woke up, and it is snowing. It was like 80 degrees Fahrenheit earlier this week, or maybe the end of last week. It's snowing outside. It's like one degree Celsius, 33 Fahrenheit outside. Um, I'm not happy about that. <laughs> That's just really getting me motivated to start looking for a place. Ah. <sighs> It's 92 by you. I wish it was 92 degrees here. Oh, man. I would rather live in a place where I have to have the AC on all the time than live in a place where I go outside and have to put on, like, 100 layers of clothing. That's just not fun. Uh, I should come to Florida. You know, Florida is actually on my list of places that I'm probably going to be moving to. I have... I'm looking in, like, Seattle area, which I don't think I'm going to move... I mean, I wouldn't mind living there, but it is rather expensive. Uh, Portland was another area that I was looking for. Florida is another option. And potentially Texas? That's kind of like maybe a distant fourth option. Um, but pretty much anywhere that it doesn't regularly snow and that it's warm most of the season or most of the year is pretty much where I'm looking. No, not New York. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. Yeah, Jacksonville, Fort Lauder Lauderdale, Miami, anywhere along the eastern seaboard of Florida. Yeah. Dude. Portland is expensive. Well, pretty much if you move to anywhere that's not the middle of nowhere it's gonna be expensive right i mean expense really is relative as well it depends like if you move somewhere and you're making a certain amount of money if you move to like a bigger city it'll feel expensive if you move to somewhere where there's nobody it'll feel like you know you're you're well off so it really depends it's all relative denver has 300 days of sunshine yeah but denver also gets a lot of snow uh, I'm pretty much looking to move somewhere that doesn't get snow. 
I don't mind if there's snow up in the mountains and I can drive to it if I want to go play in the snow or go skiing or snowboarding or I don't know, whatever. But I've, I've, I've had enough of it. I'm just done. I'm just done with it. So um, anyway, that's what I'm going to be looking at here pretty soon. Uh, I did talk to my bank and I got pre-approved for a loan. So I'm pretty much good to go. I just need to start looking finding a place, tell them about it, put in a bid, all that kind of hassle, things I've never done before. So not really super excited about all of that, but I am excited to get my own place and not rent. So anyway, um, do, do, do. all right. I think we are, I think we're going to get into the game. So I'm sitting here in agent engineering right now like i said we updated to the latest version of the pack and we're just at the gold farm just hanging out trying to collect a little bit of gold been sitting here for like the last 15 minutes or so hoping that we don't have to worry about gold today we'll see we'll see i know we still gotta go fight the dragon but uh yeah gold is always a thing and we were already at the base i cannot jump off this with these feather would i be able to survive with feather falling i don't want to try it Let's just go down the ladder. I was just about ready to jump off and I was like, wait a second, I don't have my bouncy boots on anymore. Yeah, I don't know how feather falling, I don't know how good feather falling is. I don't think I've used it in quite some time. All right, so that's not as good as I was hoping for, but it's all right, it's pretty okay. Let's grab all these things. I definitely was expecting a little bit better than this, but whatever. Gold is gold. All right. Dark boots negate fall damage when powered. Well, these are empowered for. Okay, now you got me curious to test. These are things I should probably know. Uh, so we saying we're at Y128. Let's go up to Y58 and then jump off and just see. We'll go 20 blocks distance. So feather falling four and dark boots. What happens? That didn't even make us sound like I took half a heart. I didn't know that those negated fall damage. Let's go up to 68. If that's the case, that's really good. Because I was really expecting that. I was going to have to be careful here. 68 fall off. Wow. that I did not know that that would absorb fall damage. That's awesome to know. Okay. And before you fall too far and die, right? Hold shift and read the white text. You know, every time I come here, there's like a stupid pigman that looks like he teleports back. Uh, hold shift and read the white. Fall damage negating when powered. You know, I've never, I guess I never read that. So I put further falling four on these for no reason, apparently, unless that lessens the amount of fall damage to RF conversion that happens, I guess. Let's power these up. So we still got that green. Oh, you know what that is? Does that take durability damage then? Maybe it takes a little durability damage. My boots are the only ones that had durability missing. Store all that XP. All right, so we'll convert the gold into gold ingots, and then we will look at going to the end here. Is that nearly a stack? That is a over a stack of gold. That's not bad. You know, I felt like we weren't going to have that much from there, but getting a little over a stack of gold, that's pretty good. I really got a place to put these, though. Let's get rid of that. Put that down there, I guess. All right. Uh, zombie heads. Obsidian. 
cobblestone. I do want blocks. That was a thing we were talking about before. Um, three stacks of blocks should be good enough. I don't think I need another Eye of Ender for anything. Put that up. So what else am I going to need? Eye of Ender. I don't need. So blocks. We have a ranged attack weapon. We have our slime sling and glider so we can fly. We have... Food so we can regenerate. I guess more food would probably be a good idea in case they take a lot of damage and I have to regenerate a lot of health. A pumpkin. A pumpkin is something that I'm going to want. This way I don't have to deal with looking at Enderman. Ender pearls for teleporting? You know, that's not a bad idea because we do have to go and get ourselves an Elytra. Uh, we can farm them while we're there, but I might as well just take some with me since I already have a stack. Um, maybe I should take more blocks than just three stacks. I don't know how much we're going to need because with the slime sling and the glider, we'll be able to have a little bit of mobility. <clears throat> what is an early game way to keep the Coke oven from becoming full of creosote consistently or constantly? Uh, what I did is I used the Ender IO fluid tank that uh i have it on pole so i'd pull the creosote out and then i was pushing that into a trash can after i made all of the stuff for like my water wheels i would recommend making a whole lot of the treated wood instead of throwing it away but yeah once you have enough treated wood our setup over here is the a fluid tank that's set to pull on both sides and it's pushing to the top into this fluid trash can. But yeah, if you want to save it, you can use bottles, I guess. Maybe. <laughs> Hello, the Creeper Club. All right. I think that's about all we need. The other thing that we wanted to do, let's grab some more food. So we'll go farm up some more steak, I guess. I want to make a tunnel over to where that end portal is. So we'll go do that, which is going to take a little bit of time. Uh, do you, oh, you know what? We had the iron sharpening kits over here that I never, I never did anything with. Or did I, no, you know what? I must have grabbed those in. Oh, look at all this junk I got on me. Let's clear this out as well. Lots of junk in here. Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, some of this we can just trash. I don't really need to keep it. Like this, I don't care. That, I don't care. That, I don't care. Honestly, these actually addition jammed, I don't really care too much about. Fish, I don't think is going to matter. Spider eyes, I'll keep because those are kind of rare. Marble. I don't think we need these boats anymore. And those are cheaply made or cheap to make, I should say. more XP I don't think we need that dark oak all right and then yeah the spawner and the spawner shard is definitely something I want to keep we're out of room out of room I'm just gonna stick him over here I guess we got we got to look at upgrading our storage here pretty soon as well we have one raw beef All right, let's go collect a little bit more food. Then we'll make our tunnel over to where the end portal is. We'll make a proper tunnel over there. And then we'll go kill the dragon. Might want to kick off my bees as well. Yeah, that's something we could do. We have plenty of drones of these other of the vanilla types or whatever. You know, let's go do that. Let's go grab two other drones and we'll try and make some common bees. We haven't even started on the bees at all. We can also check in our void resource thingy. 
How expensive are those crates? They're a little expensive. They're not like crazy expensive, but like it requires a dense gold plate and a dense iron plate. Some diamonds, I think. It's about the expense of like making a diamond chest and better chest, I think is what somebody said. Uh, so let's grab, I guess a forest and a meadows queen princess. That's ignoble. That's ignoble. Do we have any pristine? There's one. Huh, we don't have, I wonder if the ignoble bees in this pack die off. That's not good. Hmm. Well, I guess technically we could just use two meadows. It doesn't matter. We don't need the meadows as long as they're pristine. We can just mate them with the forest bees. Am I gonna have enough range on the shuriken? I think so. I mean, it goes far enough. It's probably gonna be slow, but you know, this is 1.10. The dragon swoops down, right? And lands on that thing, so I can just sit there and smack it. It's not that, it's not that bad. These, I don't wanna have set up the way they are right now. I'm gonna unset those so they're not doing the self-filling, and I never finished getting rid of this junk. Um, gonna grab this thing. Didn't I have these set? Oh, it's when you do in out. That's when it does it. Okay. Never active. Uh, never active. Wait, is that what I want to do? These are, I can't just set this up to be automated because I want them to mate, die off, and then see if we get the stuff. So no, we can't just like automate this anyway. We need uh, two forest drones. Boop. Boop. Okay, well, hopefully when we come back, we'll have common bees. Probably not likely. I don't know what the uh, the chances of that kind of stuff are happening here, but uh, hopefully we'll be all right. All right, let's go find ourselves some cow faces to murder. Boink. Ah, uh, there's some cows. There's like, I don't see any cows around here. I missed some bits. Easy Terry, 20 bits. Thank you for the 20 bits this morning all and some bits. Thank you, Easy Terry, for the 20. Sunset Whiskey with 20 bits. Keeping the cup full. Thank you, Sunset. Uh, Magma Player with one bit and then an additional 24. Thank you for the 25 bits. Appreciate it. I really need to get sharpness on the sword, or I should have upgraded the sword already to the demonic version in fact we should probably do that because when the dragon lands i have to smack it with a sword right oh my goodness cow just die where'd that other cow go poor moo moos they are always so tasty yeah it's like when the glider's on i can't get the drop attack or whatever the crit hit All right, cows, where are you? Where are you, cows? I mean, I guess I could kill pigs, too. There's no reason to not. I was wanting beef because I already have beef, but we could switch food types.
It's just mutton isn't that great as far as food goes, but everything else is pretty good. It's rainy. You got Tinker's tools, you can't repair a demonic? Um, you can put auto repair on them, right? I don't know, I haven't tried it in this pack. Maybe Tinker's been updated. Honestly, I don't know. The other thing about pigs are like when you smack them, they kind of run away a little bit, but they're nowhere near as fast as cows. I have no idea why cows go like supersonic speeds. They like are crazy how fast they move. Tasty, tasty bacon. Do you use sharpening kits? They work fine. The problem with the sharpening kits is that you're always using two ingots instead of one. That's the only thing I dislike about them. But I guess if you have enough durability, it doesn't matter. Because sometimes, depending on the durability, you need to use more than one ingot. But they are super convenient, yeah. Come here. There is a lot of pigs here. I'm glad I decided to change over to bacon. <laughs> There's just not enough cows around. Good morning, the spook live. I mean, you can justify the speed of cows all you want to with IRL stuff, but this is not IRL. <laughs> Compared to other animals in this game, they run really fast for practically no reason at all. But yeah, you can't really justify anything in Minecraft based on real life because in real life you wouldn't be able to carry a one by one by one meter cube of cobblestone or dirt or anything like that let alone a stack of 64 let alone 27 stacks of that in your inventory so any kind of real world rationalization doesn't work as far as I'm concerned Do, do, do. Actually, the world is square. You don't carry all that stuff in your pocket? Yeah, believe it or not, you can't carry a meter cube worth of cobblestone in your pocket. It just doesn't work that way. Let alone carry it in all, but especially in your pocket. Hello, like your vid. There are just so many pigs. I wonder why there's so many pigs and not... There's like no chickens, no cows around here, just pigs. Oh, I guess there's some sheep. Even Terra Firmicraft isn't near about storing things? What does that even mean? Good morning, kind of clever. You wonder if it'd be easier to set up a day in the mining dimension? It probably would be. And you absolutely could do that, but it's flat, it's just grass, and it's boring. All right, I don't know how much bacon we have right now. It's gotta be upwards of three stacks. 
Uh, four and a half stacks. I kind of want this to be my last food farming trip. We should look at setting up some kind of a spawner for aminals to auto spawn them and collect their food and cook it. That's something I'd really like for the future. Or I guess we could set up some kind of like, I mean, we could just grow wheat and eat bread, but pigs are such tasty morsels. Hey, look, there's a little patch of cows over there. Come here. This game promotes so much violence against poor innocent anim animals. It's disgusting. I don't know why parents allow their kids to play these games. All right, I think we're good. I th look at all this solidified experience we got too. That's a lot. Uh, where's the way out? Over here? Okay. Later, active. Wink. You're a representative of PETA, and you say animals are tasty. <laughs> Can I glide down the stairs? Oh, I can. This is fun. This is what I want to do with my life. So much bacon! We have a decent amount right now. We won't have to go worry about food for quite some time, which is awesome. Okay, let's nom this experience. 35 levels of experience just for slaughtering some pigs. There we go. That ain't bad. A little bit of leather. Good morning, dog diggity. Thank you for the 500 bits. My goodness, appreciate that. Are we good to go? Are we ready? I guess we should wait for like a stack of food to cook up and then we can peace out of here. We could go check on the bees before we actually leave and see if they need to be reset or whatever. We, you know, we never did make a beelizer. That's probably a thing we should make. Portable analyzer? Is that what this thing is now? For bees, trees, and butterflies? Is this the new recipe? Is this the new thing? Okay, so we need a carpenter that doesn't have junk in there. This will work just fine. Uh, so we need four tin, one diamond, two redstone. Um, four tin, two diamond, one redstone, two glass pane. I think it was two buckets of water. I'm just going to make paper, turn that recipe off. Is that not the recipe? Tin, glass, diamond. Oh, two redstone, one diamond. Aha. Uh -huh. Good morning, Romser. Okay, so while we're waiting on that to cook up, we should also grab some of the combs because in order to use the Beelizer, we have to have honey drops. So we need to centrifuge the combs, get some honey drops, then we can actually look at these bees and see what they are. A little bit involved action here, but pretty soon this will just be a super simple thing. Hey, 
You know, I'll grab that too. Eve Alliance says no, have no way you need to go to the loo. Well, uh, pro gamers use a catheter is all I'm trying to say. Or you can use a mobile device and take me into the bathroom with you. That sounds so weird. Let's pretend I didn't say that. Let's just go ahead and pretend that didn't happen, okay? Can we just pretend for a moment? Uh, I need a chest. There's a one chest, and then I need some aluminum. Mm-hmm. All right, so chest, aluminum, copper. All right, there's some honey drops, but we're going to need a little bit more than some honey drops. Portable genetic analyzer, supply bee tree, butterfly, or an other individual and provide honey or honeydew as a pacifier. Yep. I think four should be enough for what we need to do right now. Watch up now while you poop. <laughs> Installing TV and bathroom currently for 24 seven hypno stream. There you go. There you go. That that's that's professional right there. Oh, I didn't even grab. Oh, never mind. I just say I didn't even grab the um, the food that I just made. Here's a common drone. And a common princess. That is awesome. That is really good. That's common forest. That is common meadows. So hopefully... Hopefully those will produce a future common. So what about these? This could be half-breed common too. No, that's meadows forest. I don't know if I want to look at the rest of these bees. So that was Meadow's Force. I guess we could put that back with another Force and hope for another common. I just don't want to waste the honey right now. We don't have a lot of it. All right, let's put this bee laser here and grab our pork. And then we can look at building that tunnel out to the end portal. And then look at fighting the dragon, the Durgan. 49er says, the only thing that will get me out of lurk mode right now, hype. The girl! I didn't even realize this song was playing. Bees are easy! Uh... Yeah, so that's just gonna do its thing. That'll be ready by the time we look at that again, I suppose. I'm gonna swap out my steak for pork. Is this all done? Oh no, it's still cooking. Dromzy just resubscribed to the channel for 10 months in a row. Dromzy, thank you so much for the 10 month resub. Uh, Pete or Pete Texa, subscribe with Twitch Prime. Uh, be sure to refresh your browser or refresh your client or whatever and click that share button so you get your notification. I wish uh, Twitch would fix that so you don't have to do that, but yeah, I'll miss the subs or whatever if you guys don't do that. There it is. Uh, Pete. Just subbed with Twitch Prime another month enjoying the stream, Pete. But thanks for the sub, appreciate it. Um, all right, so we're gonna build a tunnel. Should probably grab a little bit more netherrack because I don't know if we're gonna have to bridge out over the void or something. Grab that. Yeah, Shadow Warrior, I've done bees before. I've been doing bees before a lot of people have done bees. I understand the uh, the workings of them. What the? Really? <laughs> okay. 
Should I go kill the gas? No, let's let's leave the gas alone. Where's my marker? There's portal. Stronghold portal. So we could go down our tunnel here and then cut over. That way we don't have to build multiple tunnels. That seems legit. Let's go do that. Doing bees before it was cool. I don't know if doing bees was ever cool, but it was a lot of fun when I uh, set up my whole base to revolve around being powered off bees back in FTB Ultimate. Those, uh, I can't, they were like oil bees or gasoline bees or fuel bees. I can't remember what it was, but. Getting all that oil and then powering my whole base off to build craft fuel. That was a lot of fun. I think we also did uh, the forestry farms, the multi farm. Man, that the forest, the multi farm is so old, isn't it? We did the multi farm tree breeding, trying to get apple trees that would do the high amount of apples to drop, and we we're taking the apples and fermenting those and making the biofuel. I think and trying to run the forestry farm off that. Like there was a lot of things that I was doing with forestry back then. It was a while ago. All right, so I guess we go south and then cut over to the east when we get to the portal. All right, let's do that. Which way is south? South be this way. I'm scared. I'm scared. I should just dip. I should just build up to the ceiling, shouldn't I? I'm not gonna. I should. I should though. I should build I should I should build a builder's one. I should make a builder's one. We had one, now it's gone. Dang it. Let's go do that. You killing pigs made me think of a shirt that you wanted on the front. It said PETA on the back. It said people eating tasty animals. Yep. Yeah, I've heard that one before. Bees not fun. That's a lot of people's opinion. I've definitely heard that opinion once or twice in my day. That's why I prefer playing packs that have like gendistry and stuff. Like once you get to the point where you've bred bees a couple of times, you're like, oh, okay, so that's how it works. This is how you get a pure bread. This is how you get more drones. So you can make more princesses of that type and then continue the breeding process. Like once you've done that, you know, three or four times, it's like, okay, gendistry time. Like, I've experienced the whole bee situation. Uh, we want a builder's wand. I, I'm going to make two builder's wands. Because I think the last one didn't seem to last as long as I wanted it to. I don't want one to run out. Alright. And I am going to grab more netherrack. Because I didn't realize we were going to have, like, that huge gap. Like, right at the start there. You think you would like bees? You think you would like bees if you really learned how it worked? It's really not that difficult. Two different bees make another type, right? Oop, I hit the mouse. Uh, so for instance, two hive bees, like a forest and a meadows, the, the bees you find in the world, you breed those together, you get a chance of a common bee. Now, it could be that the main trait of that bee is common or the passive trait of that bee is common. But it, it's not necessarily going to be a purebred bee. Like, you got to look up that whole pun and square kind of a thing. Um, pretty much, if you just forget about all that nonsense, if you breed two bees together, you either get, you know, a 50-50 chance of it being half breed or you get a percent chance of it being a full breed. If it's the full breed, you want a full breed princess and a full breed drone, breed those together and you'll always get that type of bee. But yeah, it's just the it's just the process of getting the pure breads, the full breeds, that sucks. And if you try and go without doing the full breeds, there's a possibility that you'll lose your mutation, and that sucks. 
That won't even reach over there, will it? Alright, well, let's just go. Still too far away. I guess it'd probably be in shooting range if I was able to hit it. Whoa! Should probably switch the mode to horizontal. The command I use is slash wand oops, which undoes the last thing that your wand did. It does not give you back the durability, though. Yes, this wand will go around corners and I could have done an enclosed tunnel the entire way. However, I would prefer to have like an actual walkway before I do that. Um, and this is going to be kind of a problem. Oh my goodness. Stupid ghast. I can never trust those builder wands to do what I want them to do because normally when you have like stuff touching like this, it was touching. Um, it'll do far too much. But right now, I kind of want to just do horizontal and do the walls until we get out there, until, like, the complete open, and then I'll do the full ring. Hypno is building yet another, another path. Yes. Is that a problem? Oh, yeah, look at this. Like, dang it. It's super annoying. Hello, Josh. Whoop. Do, 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 do. Hi, Piggy. Bye, Piggy. Bye, Piggy. Bye, bye. Oop. Hello, white black. So either at this point I could bring out the roof here. The roof. Now we could do the no lock. All 
Right, another rack. Another rack. All right, let's dig this path here, and then we'll use some of the nether rack that we get to fill that in. All right, where's my hammer? Where am I hammer at? Did my inventory? Am I blind? It's right on my hot bar. That's why I didn't even see it. Overly attached piggy. Oh, I'm not even prepared for lava. I need to get blocks on the bar. Is it just me? You prefer extra utilities to one now with smaller range? I don't know if I ever used the extra utilities to wand or not. White Black just tipped $25. Thank you for the tip. Jeez. Uh, have not been here in a while, but really want to show my show you my support. Thank you for all the entertainment. You are welcome. Thank you for the $25 tip. My goodness. Unexpected. Appreciate it. Glad you're enjoying the content. Welcome back. Oop. Do I have a magnet yet? No. My tools are made of iron, so they automatically draw blocks to me, but I don't have a proper magnet, no. We still need to go down a little bit further here. So be careful, the roof is kind of thin here. It's kind of cool how this comes right over to a stronghold, though. Did I just hear another man? I think I did. Why is that tunnel all lit right there? What is that about? Did I not include that properly? Oh, that's right. This is what the tunnel that we were making and I ran out of blocks. It's like, wait a second, what's going on here? That trolley pigman. Oh no, never mind. He's gonna be fine. There we go. Uh, good morning, Dizzler. That's right, another man. I mean, if they're from the end and they're calling Enderman, I mean, what do you call them when they're another, the right? It makes sense. It makes sense. I hear a Skeletron. Okay, so there happens to be a lava stream directly in our path. That is super, super, super neat. I like that. That is amazing. Well, let's do it. Well, gotta die sometime. Why not today? Peace out, lava.
That was a definite game-changing addition for sure. And Enderman in the Nether, so necessary. And they pick up Netherrack. So how much further over do we have to go here? Not too much further. It almost looks like that'd be a straight path there. Almost. I mean, I guess we could go here and then go down and then over because it is down to the ground. We could just use this fortress as part of our pathway. Let's do that. That just makes sense. All right, so we will whoop, come over here from there. Eventually we'll have warps and stuff and this will be like the stupidest thing ever. It'll be like, remember that time where we built a path to go to the end? Yeah, now we could just warp there with our draconic dislocator thing. Um What is the Y level of that? Actually let's head over this way real quick. Is that gonna be in the ground or can we just go along the surface here? That is in a really annoying spot to get to. I guess we'll dig down to it. I'm kind of regretting ever putting slime on this hammer, to be honest. Getting those slime spawning every now and then, well, it's kind of amusing at the start. It's like, okay. Okay, slimes, you can stop spawning now. Should probably figure out what Y level it is. Uh, waypoint. Stronghold edit 32. We are at 39. So just a few more layers down. Oops. Whoopsie. Let's redo that. Again, whoopsie. Uh, Y32, so now I just need to go straight over. Lava! I should add a backpack mod. Yeah, I don't add mods that change the way the pack plays. I will add mods that are like quality of life. For instance, I added to this pack the item scroller mod so I can scroll items in and out of an inventory, which it just makes sense. It doesn't change the game at all. It just makes life easier. Uh, there's another mod I was going to add. I was trying to find it this morning, which is like called the, I want to say simple labels or item labels or something. It's whenever you hover over an item here in the inventory, it'll give you like the, the name of the mod that it's from. So like if you're hovering over this, the blue text at the bottom of that label, for whatever reason, 
it doesn't show up here anymore. I think any I did that, but JEI now does not do that. Anyway, I was looking for that mod this morning. I couldn't find it. I would have added that one too. It doesn't change anything. It just makes life easier. Um, Team Raffle Stomp with 50 bits says, Hi, Hypno. Hello, Team Raffle Stomp. Thank you for the 50 bits. Sunset Whiskey with 40 bits, topping it up. Thank you, Sunset. Appreciate the support. Right. How much of these magma blocks? I should probably grab some of these, to be honest, right? Like, I should have some. They're not, like, exceptionally rare. But they make for a decent mob farm, like a killing mechanism. But not the best. Obviously, spikes are probably better, but they are free. Might as well take them. Uh, Doug Diggity with 100 bits. Health pot before I die this time. Thank you for the 100 bits. Appreciate it. Good luck on your survival on being that bit boss. All right, so here's our portal. Let's go ahead and clear out some of this lava. I'll try and make some kind of an enclosure for this. Just out another act, nothing special. Just some kind of an enclosure, though. I guess we don't have to go super far over here. Something like that. Okay, so if I want this, is that gonna do like a lot of stuff? Uh, no locks. That's gonna do a lot of stuff that I don't want it to do. Try to see what else this is gonna do. Yeah, that's gonna connect over here, which I don't want it to. Better. Better. I mean, that looks pretty good, yeah? It's pretty crude. Nothing special about it, but it is a little bit more secure than what we had before. Which was absolutely nothing. I like it. There's still some more things we could do, like enclose the rest of that tunnel over by the fortress. I don't know how necessary that's going to be. I do want to clear out my inventory a little bit. Maybe we will just place some blocks. Go back to the base, drop off the netherrack, the extra stuff. If we have any, I guess we'll make tunnels and stuff. Enclosures. Now, getting stairs in here would probably be the next thing. The only other thing is, I don't know how often we're going to be coming back and forth. I just want some kind of a path through the nether to get over here without being, like, super annoying. I to, like, fly everywhere to try and get here. I really would like to enclose some of this, though. Mm. Something like this. Mm. 
probably be too high. Might have to go down one more block on this. Or go up one more block. So I want it to be... That's fine. So this doesn't need to be up here. I'll be a roof. That is one, two, three, four for the ceiling. I think that should be okay. Nothing too crazy. Yeah, that should be fine. Something like that. Uh, Sir Noodle with 60 bits. Thank you for the 60. All right, let's get this other side done over here. Good enough. Hack. Getting lag in single player, really? Oh, how's that not connected over here? Gas. All right. Seems all right. Not great, but something. This I would like to completely enclose, but whatever. I don't know if it's really worth all the time. We're gonna run out of blocks here pretty soon. Yeah, we're pretty much out of. We're pretty much out already right now. That's it. It's all my nether rack. Let's go drop off all of our extra blocks at the base. Oh no, we still got another rack right here in my offhand. That's all we're gonna do. Let's go drop off the rest of our stuff at the base, then we'll go to the end and take on the Dorgan. Hello, Queen Jazzy Babe.
do 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 Oh my god, I thought I know who you are. I just joined a random I know I you I watch all the time on YouTube. Uh welcome. You, you watch my videos all the time on YouTube, you know who I am, is that what you're trying to say? <laughs> well welcome to the live stream. What is my goal with this pack? To progress through all the age of engineering. It's a tiered progression mod pack. So think Infinity Evolved Expert. Now there really was no quest book, but there was like an obvious way to progress through the pack, right? Make more power to get more items, make start into this mod and use the items for this mod to go into this mod kind of a thing. That's how this pack is set up if you haven't seen it yet. So if you go to the guide here and go to Age of Engineering, there's like all of these different ages. Currently, we are in the Ender Age right now, and our job is to go get ourselves an Elytra. Then we, I mean, we're only on five of 14 ages, right? So there's quite a bit for us to go. Um, yep, it's not a pack that's supposed to be made to go really fast through. It's a pack where you got to take your time grind a little bit then move on and we're currently in the grind a little bit to get our elytra and that way we'll be able to get a jetpack and that'll be pretty awesome one of our dust i don't know where that goes but yep we are gonna be fighting the durgan here in just a little bit another quartz over here I don't know what I'm gonna do with these magma blocks. Like, I am so running out of space. I really gotta look at upgrading our inventory situation here. Alright, overflowing to here, I guess. I think we have everything else that we need for the Durgan. Let me grab a bucket of water because that's always nice to have. We'll check in our bees and then we'll go to the end. Uh, I grabbed some honey too. Is there a platform you enjoy playing more? Is there a platform I enjoy posting more on? I don't understand the question. Are you asking, do I like YouTube or Twitch better? Or is there something else that you're asking? I'm not entirely sure what you're asking. Right, glass bottles get under air. That's the smart move and dragon's breath. Absolutely. We need to do that. But we got a cultivated that's not that's not really what I was hoping for but that is something we need that's half cultivated half common okay. we got here nice we got a purebred common and a half breed common forest what do we have here nothing those two will breed back together that's garbage so we have a purebred common which is good I never did check out what these guys were let's do that now now that we have a little bit of extra honey forest meadows garbage forest common that's a half breed forest meadows garbage fly away bees fly away so half breed cultivated common. Um, that's kind of what we want, but not really. I'd be afraid to breed this with another common because that could make it diligent, I believe. No, it could make a noble or a, yeah, a noble or a diligent. We need to get here anyway so we can do the 
uh, Imperial or the Industrious Bees, but I don't want that to happen until we have a purebred common. I'll just hold that off for now. We'll wait and see what these guys do. Hopefully we'll get a common out of that. All right, let's go to the end. I, I, actually, let's go check on our Void Ore Miner here, and then we'll go to the end. Sixty-two coal ore, well worth making this machine. I mean, this is good. Like, whenever we need some of these resources, they'll just be available. So that's pretty awesome. Charge Certus, Certus Quartz, Ruby Sapphire, Cobalt, and Ardite. That's pretty awesome, I guess. Sheldonite, Tungsten, Peridot, and Sodalite. Is there anything else in here that we haven't really been seeing much of? Appetite ore? That would have been nice earlier. Um. Nothing here too special. Okay. Let's go fight the Durgan. I'm ready. I wonder, should I leave this here? Oh man, when we go fight the dragon, we have to go to the end cities, which means we have to deal with the shulkers we really should up let's upgrade our sword let's get a more powerful sword yeah let's get a more powerful sword and then we'll go fight the dragon uh christoph christoph i am christoph liam i'm not sure how to pronounce that it's hard to read uh, do you know something that can kill a wither boss in 1.10 automated? If you have Draconic Evolution, the mob grinder from Draconic Evolution should be able to one-shot it. Yep, that's what I would recommend. Okay, so I guess Demon Seal is what we want for the Sword Blade. Or Demon Ingots or whatever it's called. Do we not have a sword blade pattern? How did we make right there? Toss two. Okay, so I'll make our sword. Uh, what else is this thing made out of currently? We have stone wide guard. I think we're using a wood. We should probably switch it to like Manulin. White guard, maybe. Or do we want. Do we want the white guard? Does that give you a bonus? 50. What about the tool rod? 250. Handle modifier 0.5. I think we'd probably want that. We probably want that and then something like. I don't know, copper for the wide guard. Bone, probably bone, bone wide guard. Yeah, bone wide guard. And then manual and handle. I think that's what we're going to do. Glass bottles, right? Let's start cooking up some sand if we have some. Um, we don't have bones. Like yeah, we do. Cobalt is 10% speed as a white guard. You know, the regular broadsword goes fast enough. I'm not really that concerned about the speed of it. 
And since we're making up all these new parts, I could just make a brand new sword. Like, I don't necessarily have to use the same one. Like, we could keep that as a backup or something. That's an 11.75 attack versus 8.72, which we ha are using right now. So that's pretty good. That is a heart and a half difference just by swapping it out. 355 durability versus, what does this have? 273. Um, or we could do two paper parts, but that would really hurt the durability. Two paper parts would give us an additional two modifiers. I think that actually makes sense. Let's do that. We'll do two paper parts. We'll swap these with paper. We'll leave the wide guard as paper. We'll swap the handle out as manulin, and then we'll put a diamond on there. That should give us overall more attack. I think. Let's try it. It might not give us more attack overall. I'm gonna try it though. Because we'll still be missing on that bone part. I don't know. Well, let's try it. It's not that expensive for the things we just did here, so we can always redo it. Uh, Alright, so... Sword. Paper. Paper. Oh, that only gives us four modifiers. I thought that would give us writable two. So this is not worth it. No, that's not worth it. Let's just stick with this. I thought we'd get another thing writable. We don't. So there's a week because I don't care about them. All right, so I want looting on the sword first of all. So let's grab our lapis. Looting. Dude, man, that requires a lot of lapis, doesn't it? My goodness. Maybe we should just upgrade our other sword. Oh well, too late now. We'll just go with looting two for now until we get more lapis and I'll add the rest of it on here. I think the other stuff we're gonna put on here is going to be another quartz for the attack bonus. Okay, that brings us up to 13.6 from 11.75. That is pretty good. And then it leaves us one more modifier. And we'll probably put more nether quartz on there once we farm up some more. So 13.6 versus 8.72. I think, I think we're good with that. Um... So this other sword, I don't know where we're going to put that. Maybe down here? Maybe over here? Alright, I think we are good to go. I think we're good to go. Hey, Hypno, can you give us tips on how I'm doing YouTube videos? What kind of tips are you looking for? Mending moss? Um... How much durability does this have? You know, I was going to look at putting a diamond on there. Let's do that. Let's look at putting a diamond on there for more durability. And... Yeah, let's just put Mending Moss on there for more... Or, I'm sorry. Let's put a diamond on there. See if it gives us more durability and more attack is what I'm interested in. The so 14.6. So it gives an additional half a heart of damage and an additional 500 durability, but then we don't have another modifier on here. Is it better to do the diamond versus doing another thing of nether quartz? <sighs> 
probably not. I don't know. It would last a lot longer, but I think 355 durability is pretty good. I think we're fine with that. I need the glass bottles that I forgot as well. Let's make those. A stack of glass bottles. Quartz is plus two damage. Might, I don't know. I don't know what the best way to do this with. Right now, it's just... There's so much stuff to think about. i just not really that interested in. Our sword is going to be good enough for, to do what we want it to do. It's probably not the best, but it's good enough. Um, Okay, so we have range attack. We have a weapon. We have glass bottles to get Dragon's Breath. Is there Batania in this pack? Do we even get Ender Air? Maybe it's just Dragon's Breath is all we need. Uh, we have blocks on us to bridge out should we need it. We have our glider. We have our slingshot so we can fly around should we need it. We have ender pearls to go to the end cities. Is that it? Is that all we need? Is there anything else? We have a path through the nether to get to our end portal as well. Hello, Fonia. My day is going fantastic. Thanks for asking. EFLN, that's the throwable stuff from Tinkers, right? EFLN. That's rather inexpensive. Flint and sulfur? Are you still 64? No, I'm not 64. I'm 62. Yeah, I forgot that you'd have to climb up in order to knock those things out. We don't have flight right now. So yeah, that is a very good suggestion for that. Uh, it's also gunpowder plus flint, right? All right, I think we're good. I'm not coming back for anything else. Well, I don't know how to communicate on YouTube. Any tips? And like, how did you get well known? Uh, well, the way you get well known on YouTube is from cross promotion. Find some other channel that's doing the same kind of content as you. Become friends with them. Cross promote each other. You shout them out, they shout you out. You gain some of their subs, they gain some of your subs. And, you know, at some point, that doesn't work anymore, so you find somebody else. who's Now that your channel has grown, find somebody else who's more your size. And keep doing that. I mean, that's pretty much the way to grow on YouTube. It's word of mouth, cross-promotion, that kind of stuff. This isn't going to end well. This is going to end fantastically. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, my channel grew because of Hermitcraft. I was, uh, well, I was doing a single player let's play Minecraft and I started becoming friends with Generic B before, you know, he got popular. He wanted to do a Minecraft server. So he did Hermitcraft, he invited me, and that's how that happened. I think when I started on Hermitcraft, I had like, I don't know, five or 10,000 subs. It wasn't like a huge following. You're talking about the explosives, they almost killed you three times? I guess I should probably throw one and just see what the range is on those, just so I know. 
I know what they do, I just don't know how much they do it. I fall down the hole. Ooh, you know what? We never did look in the libraries, did we? Where's the ladder? Where's the ladder? These have all the books in them that we would ever need. We don't, and then we could convert the books into paper, right? That is garbage. Ooh, an actually editions manual. Just what I wanted. All right. Yeah, we'll have to come back here and read all these books. That's some good stuff. Sharpness three, aqua affinity, smite four, efficiency four. That's not bad. Monastic drone. Okay. Yeah, we'll have to come back here. There's also more chests in the stronghold to find. Like this one kind of had garbage in it, but. Um, okay. So I need blocks ready to go as soon as we warp there. Oh, I never did test these things did I? Let's, hmm, what's a good place to test those? Maybe in the nether? Am I also still friends with Generic B? I mean, we never became not friends, but we don't really talk too much anymore. Just because he's doing his own thing, we're doing our own thing, or I'm doing my own thing, I guess. Alright, let's throw one of these things and just see like, how they work anyway. That like wrecks a lot of stuff, doesn't it? I assume that doesn't blow up obsidian, but man, look at that. That is a huge explosion! That's pretty big, okay. So let's be very careful with those and not put them anywhere near something on the bar that I'm going to be switching to. I'm still a member of Hermitcraft. I am still a member of Hermitcraft. I just don't play on the vanilla server because I'm not interested in playing vanilla Minecraft at the moment. To be honest, like, I haven't played vanilla Minecraft for a long time since 1.8, and playing on a server where there's nothing but professional vanilla Minecraft players is almost intimidating now, because people watch Hermitcraft, they expect a certain level, and I'm gonna come in there brand new, and not really know anything about vanilla Minecraft anymore, or all the special mechanics, or this and that, and just, I don't even care to know those things, like, it just doesn't even bother me, but that's what people will be expecting. Um, I really don't need the shovel. Let's put that right here. All right, and then glass bottles right there. Christoph says, hopefully I get to be a Minecraft YouTube enthusiast like you, Hypno. Thank you for inspiring me. You are welcome. Thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, Sir Noodle, I don't think I said thank you for the 60 bits earlier. Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. Thank you for the 60. Loco Motiver with 15 bits earlier. Refill time. Thank you for the 15. I think I got everything else. All right, let's do this. I'm like so procrastinating right now. I don't want to go in here. Uh, bad spawn. Bad spawn. Pumpkin. F1.
What? Where's my pick? What happened to my pick? Those work really well for this. I assume they did what I wanted to do. Too far. I might have hit myself with that one. I don't know. Oh, get out of the... Get out of the dragon breath. This is really hard to do. They're gonna get it? Nope. We should be mostly okay though. Like it'll get a little bit of regen, but it's not gonna be like fully regening. You know, I guess I could be using these things too. Nope, those don't even reach up there, geez. Uh, Dragon's Breath. Okay, get me out of this stuff, please. Wow, that damage. I feel like I'm so noobing this up right now. So the dragon keeps like shooting those balls. I can hear it. I don't want to be in the dragon's breath, but I would like to get some of it. Is that too loud? Should I turn it down? I'm gonna turn it down here in a second. Ender Mings. Got him once with that. Oop. Get out of the Dragon's Breath. And that Dragon's Breath does so much damage. Awesome.
Man, that is not gonna work. I thought we were gonna be okay by not attacking all of these crystals. I was kind of wrong. The dragon's back to full health. That's not gonna be. Get it? But sh oh, that's why the dragon's constantly regening. I didn't realize that it was getting regen sitting there in the thing. There's one, oh no, there's one over here. All right, fine dragon, we'll just do it this way. There we go. But now I got this column of cobblestone that's gonna drive me crazy. Here, dragon. I gotta be kind of careful now because the um, churkins, if I put too many around, I gotta start causing lag. Thanks for the boost dragon rate. Well, I can't regen now, so it's just a simple waiting game. Like I can, I can do some range attack, which doesn't really do a whole lot, or we can just do a lot when it lands. Is that not doing any... Why is that not taking durability damage from hitting the dragon? It's not unbreakable. It should be using a little bit of durability, but it doesn't look like it is, so I don't know. The mob grinder wasn't looking in the right direction. Yeah, you want the skull and like the two sword things pointed at whatever you want killed. Get wrecked. All the XP. Cool. Dragon Heart. All right, uh, I probably, do I want to go drop, I probably want to drop the dragon breath and the heart off back at the base, and then we can go and explore the end cities and try and get our Elytra. Sunset Whiskey with 695 bits is GG. Thank you, Sunset, for the 695.
Demonic tool unbreakable. I don't know. Maybe it just doesn't take durability damage against the dragon because it's unique. I haven't tried attacking anything else with it. I don't want to attack an Enderman. Uh, do we need the dragon egg for anything? I guess if we want to do GP, that would be really useful. Let's grab it. Oh, gotta watch out for the beehive. The wave rate bees? I don't have a torch on me. This is problem. Can I make torch? There's no way for me to make a torch right now. Unless I have a torch in my yellow bag, hole or something. No. Uh, there's no way for me to make a torch. Okay, we'll grab the egg when we come back, I guess. Let's go beat the game. We did it. We beat Minecraft. And now we're at world spawn at nighttime. Oh yeah, there are torches on the portal. Derp. That's fine. We'll just go do it on our way back. Uh, F one. So yeah, the sword didn't take durability damage after attacking that spider either. It's not taking durability damage. I'm fine with it being... Should I go back there? Let's go back there and grab the egg now. That way we don't have to make two trips. I'm fine with it being unbreaking, it's just I wasn't expecting it to be unbreaking. It took you two hours to get your elytra? That would suck. I don't know if we're going to be able to get the torch off the portal without going through the portal. Uh, hopefully this won't be really annoying to do. Why do I live in the nether? I don't live in the nether. Yeah, I guess we could place blocks to right. I fall down hole. You guys are so smart. All right. What? Don't touch me, B. You got a problem, Enderman? You got a problem? I think so. Hey, we beat Minecraft again. I'm so good at being Minecraft. They can be Minecraft all day long. How did you manage to get the end portal? Uh, by using Eyes of Ender. 
going into the overworld eyes of ender following where they go minecraft ng plus plus we already beat the game twice now I have this area chunk looted and we don't need a chunk looted anymore. Let's uh, turn that off. I had this area chunk looted so we could despawn those pigmen before, but we don't need that. I guess also to let the items despawn that we're not collecting at the pigmen for them, like the gold swords and armor and stuff, but whatever, it's fine. Uh, so now we have yet another block, another item put in a chest that we have no room for. Uh, I'm going to just go ahead and delete this thing because I'm afraid that I'm going to accidentally the base with it. Don't need the torch. Don't need the cobweb. Don't need the one nether rack. Uh, everything else I think we're going to keep. Pumpkin. Spider eye string. Uh, we do need the ender pearls. XP, sixty-seven levels. I thought you used to get something like a hundred levels from killing the dragon, didn't you? Maybe they, maybe they nerfed that when they made it so you can respawn the dragon. I bet that's what it was. The uh, this thing, don't care at all about that. Dragon's Breath we don't need on this either. Alright, I think we're ready to go explore and try and get ourselves an Elytra. I can fill up my food, I guess. Alright, let's go. Why a boat? Why not a boat? Are you are you a hater of boats? I looked at the recipe for the DE dislocator. Maybe they're not bad for getting some of these places. I have not looked at it yet. No, we probably should look at that just so I know. Teleportation core. This requires bees. So the bees from the end will make those combs. But yeah, we need. We have to have bees going in order to do that. Why does this pack gotta be like that? I see what you did. You hate bees always with a stinging? Well, if you play with bees, you're gonna get stung. Skull! I think we have three skulls now. We can fight a wither boss. I should probably turn the sounds back on. How you guys doing? Bye bye. Oh, I put the pumpkin away, didn't I? Hmm. Guess I'll just be a little bit more careful. And 
right away I look at one. And right away I look at one. If you want to fight? I will smack you from up here and not even care about your feelings. And our armor should be pretty good to uh, withstand the force of the Endermings. I think we're just taking a lot of damage from that Dragon's Breath, which goes through armor, if I remember right. Maybe I don't. I don't know. I don't think we're super weak. Let's fight an Enderman. Let's find out. So they're only doing like half a heart of damage. They aren't bad. Yeah, it's just that Dragon's Breath. I guess that just deals void damage or something. I almost thought I didn't bring blocks. I did. Um. All sorts of draconium ore here. It's awesome. Super neat. It's full of stars. All right. And we're gone. So exploring around these are going to be a lot of fun. Is that our main island? I thought these warped out further than that. Hmm. Hmm. Yes, thank you, Minecraft. I've heard you like the last three times say that. Bum, bum. Do I need the chorus fruit for like something? Maybe it's not what I'm interested in right now. If we ever need it, we can come back for it. Whoa, 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 that would have been bad. Sometimes the gliding on this stuff doesn't work the way I want it to. I gotta be pretty careful. If I fall into the void, that's gonna be like the worst thing ever. How many people can fit in the back seat? Apparently everybody. KP Dragon has just resubscribed for three months in a row. KP Dragon, thank you for the three months of continued support. Appreciate it. 
slingshot is by far your favorite 110 two item the whole slingshot sling boots are like a huge thing for early game the great addition Angel sight? Angel sight? Hmm. I don't know if I've seen that before. That was weird. My mouse just kind of like teleported my view, my viewpoint upwards for no reason. How do you get from island to island vanilla? I guess you pillar out. Mine blocks and make bridges. Get across this gap. Point. Is there any end cities in this? Is there any end cities at all? Are we ever gonna find an end city? I don't think we're ever gonna find an end city, guys. They just don't exist. There's no end cities at all. In Minecraft, they don't exist. Why am I even spending time looking for them when there's no such thing? They don't even... It's not even a thing. I don't know. I don't get it. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> That's scary. I think the slingshot being added to Minecraft vanilla would probably be a great addition. Whoa. Oh, this is bad. This is real bad. Oh, 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 oh my goodness. Thank you for there being a little ledge there. I wanted to right click. Oh my goodness. I wanted to just right click that stupid thing, break it or whatever, and it shot me off the edge. I was not prepared for that. I was almost about to die. In that that would be the worst thing ever. That would be like, might as well just start over the mod pack right at that point. Like, how did we get back here? Oh my goodness. Whew. Chewing with a hundred bits. Nice luck. Hypno <laughs> oh my goodness. Thank you for the hundred bits. Okay, so pro tip, don't try and right click things near a ledge that has void below it when you're next to that ledge with the slingshot in your hand. Yeah. Good morning, Soda Pop. goodness all right let's try that again except this time with a little less not almost dying i 
do, do, do. Yeah. How have we not found an end city yet? What? What's your problem, guy? What's your problem, guy? Hey, now my sword's starting to take durability. Why is it taking durability now, but it wasn't before? Oh. Does the gliding use RF? You know, that's a good question. I don't I don't even know. I don't think it does. I wouldn't imagine it does. The glider, it says enabled gliding. I don't think that uses any I don't think it does. Your ability lag, maybe. Hmm. The new sword wrapping worn off? Okay, that's what it was. Yeah, that makes sense. I guess. Poink. But seriously, how have we not found an end city yet? Like, do people in vanilla Minecraft really do this? Is this what you consider fun in vanilla Minecraft except without the gliding? portion aha boat Yeah, there's a shulker over there. I don't think it knows about me. So all I want to do is just glide right over onto the boat and then just go in and get the elytra and just peace out. I don't even care to explore the end city. There might be stuff we need, but I think we'll hold off on collecting any of these things that we need until we have a jetpack and we don't have to worry about falling into the void or any of that nonsense. So let's go get into the boat. Let's get our elytra. I'll take those. I'll take this too. Eat some food. Alright, elytra boys. Ooh, steadfast room. Efficiency four. We could use that. Don't care about that. Ooh, ambrosia. Bat's wing. What does it cost for wing of the bat? An angel ring. Angel ring is a little expensive. Okay, so wing of the bat is not something I care to even worry about right now. Ender drone. Proven grafter. The gold's nice. We had an inventory. All right, let's start putting some stuff away, I guess.
Ooh, you know, Ender Pearl. That'd probably be a good idea. If I am gonna fall into the void, I can Ender Pearl up and still save myself a little bit, right? That'd probably be something that I should keep on the bar. Something I didn't even consider before. Can't you like hit these things? You can. Who's even firing at me? Like, how does that other one even know about me? How's it firing at me? I want the dragon head? Where is this other shulker? He's gotta be on the outside on the bottom of the boat or something. I don't know how it knows about me though. And now I know I said I didn't want to go explore these things, but now I'm thinking maybe I kind of do. Maybe get to the top of that tower right there and see what's in the chest. Wait, is my glider on or off? That doesn't work very well. Let's go inside, I guess. I'm floating! This actually is helpful. Believe it or not, it is helpful. That isn't, though. Okay. Let's get inside. We'll climb the stairs like a pleb, I guess. Or I'll just fall all the way down like a like a big dummy. Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? Is there nothing even in this tower? I thought these towers had stuff in them. Okay. Uh, he hit me. I want to play Project Ozone 2, but I don't want to start from the beginning. Can you share your stay with me? Or your backup? Uh, no. There'll be a backup when I'm done with the world, or you could play the game. <laughs> but no, I'm not going to be making a world backup right now until we're done with the world. I mean, you could just cheat in stuff, I suppose, if you don't want to play the game, the early game. Um... So where do I go? Is there no chest here? Or do I want to go into this one? There appears to be like nothing here. This end city sucks. Oh, that may be in that one. Nope, there's like nothing in here. 
This place is garbage. Whoop, not back. Okay, I'm done with the whole messing around with there. I'm very disappointed. I was expecting there to be at least something there. There wasn't. Uh, and rod. I guess I'll stick those over here. I don't think there's shulker shells in 1.10. I think that's in 1.11. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I don't care about shulker boxes at all. Modded has way better options. Unless it's needed for some recipe, which I'm not aware of. If it is, in that case, we'll go back and we'll farm them at the time. But right now, we don't need them. Uh, what is this? Tiny pile of glowing redstone. Oh, from Super Circuit Maker. Okay, uh, so now that we got ourselves an elytra, the uses for the elytra will get us a electric. Oh, we can put an electric electric jetpack on the elytra. Jetpack. Elytra upgrade. What is an elytra upgrade? So we can put the elytra on our dark steel armor, which I absolutely do not want to do. So we can make the jetpack. The jetpack is used to make an electric jetpack. Or we can do the mechanism one, which is garbage. Um, the electric jetpack is used to make. Aha! Quantum suit. I guess that's going to be our next thing. You can put a jetpack pretty much in any type of body armor that would appear. Looks like we can. A jetpack on the. Energy packs, that's so crazy that you can do that now. <laughs> Let's put a jetpack on our wyvern chest plate. Or a draconic chest plate. Okay, so we need that for the conductive iron jetpack. Yeah, that's probably going to be our next goal. Make the jetpack to make the conductive iron one. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to do the quantum suit stuff. We definitely don't have the reading reinforced plates. Although those won't be that bad once we can UU matter the iridium ore. Hmm. And then we gotta deal with EU power. Not so sure I wanna do that. So we need to make this. Which is rather inexpensive. And then that is going to turn into the electric one, which is going to turn into the conductive, which I assume we keep upgrading electrical steel, energetic. Vibrant. And then we can get a flight modifier for the nanobot beacon. Okay. And then we just have to create a flight. Mm hmm. Hello, Bako. But you love the sound that the mechanism jetpack makes? I remember using that in regrowth, and that was like the most obnoxious and lamest jetpack I have ever used. Like you couldn't move, like you move slower than you can walk. Like it's ridiculous. <laughs> 
I don't know. Maybe it's been improved. I don't know. But it was pretty garbage. Why aren't I streaming beyond? Why would you want to watch beyond instead of this? Like, have you actually played beyond? Really? Have you? If you have and you still want to see it, I don't know what to tell you. All right, let's start making some iron item casings. Roll out. Beyond is where you made your two wide stairs. That's understandable. I can see why you would do such things. Universal fluid cell. I already have one of those ready to go. And a sweak it. So we need another iron rolled out. You just started beyond. What do I find bad about it? There's nothing in beyond that is interesting at all. So you could play Sky Factory and get something more interesting. And Sky Factory feels, or I guess Beyond feels like a copy of Sky Factory, except with some of the interesting things removed. Like at least Beyond or uh, Sky Factory, you have like Chicken Mod, which is new. There's really nothing in Beyond that was interesting at all. It's just like let's just make a 1.10 pack and throw all the mods in there. Just call it a day. There's like it just did not interest me at all. How am I missing the Elytra? Oh, that's in my pouch. Okay. AE or refined storage in this pack? There's uh, applied energistics in this pack, yeah. I think Beyond was just a way to get lots of testing on the mod while they create scripts for expert mode. I don't disagree. We need more storage space. I'm going to have to really work on that here very, very soon. Um, okay, so we have the jetpack. Let's upgrade to the next tier, the electric one. So we need a bat box plus some iron casings. And another thing, so we need three iron plates rolled out. Jetpack made pack beat GG, right? Like, there's no point even playing this pack any further. We've already beaten it. It's done. We're basically endgame now. What's the recipe for the enemy controller? I don't know. Oh, that's an advanced circuit. <laughs> They're going fancy on us. <sighs> All right, so two glowstone. And then we need this. So that is Empowered Restonia and Empowered Palace. Okay, so we have everything but that bat box now. So we need RE battery. So 10 casings is two or 
six pieces of tin that need to be rolled out into plates. We did have some plates over here, right? I guess we could just do five instead. This series is going to last. It will take a minute. Yep. The book says you get the elytra back after everything that uses it for crafting. Probably just because getting elytra is a pain. I would imagine that would be the reasoning. I don't know if you get it back, though. Like, if you put the elytra on a diamond chest plate. I don't know if you get it back then. I don't know if you get it back if you put on the anvil with the dark steel armor. Although, there's no point if you already have a glider, right? Um, uh, I just don't know. All right, so we need six redstone and then some insulated tin cabling. Do we even have tin cabling? We have two. So we just need our six redstone, and then we should be able to make those batteries. Cool. All right, so the batteries are done. Uh, we need five wood and then another insulated tin cable. Five planks. Okay, there's that, and there is an electric jetpack. Okay, so now the use, whoop, not the recipe, whoop, 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 uses for this uh, conductive iron jetpack. So this is our next task. That's fine. These might be your basic gear. Okay, so cobblestone sticks, some redstone conduit. Conductive iron, which is iron and redstone. Iron and redstone. I don't know how much we make. Let's make. Let's just make sixteen. A quarter of a stack of conductive iron. That should get us by, I would imagine. I think it's about break time. 49er says, Hypno, my sweetest addiction is you. Aw, thanks, 49er. You only get it back for the custom added recipes? Yeah, that's kind of what I figured. Can you feel the pain of vanilla players as they try to explore a dozen of those places to get shulker boxes? Yep. Beyond does not even have Galacticraft mod in all of its planet types. Galacticraft, to be honest, is not interesting. Like, it was cool. When I never used Galacticraft before, I was really interested in checking it out. But after playing with Galacticraft in both Project Ozone and Project Ozone 2... The mod is a thing, but it could be so much more. They reuse the bosses, like, so much. At least the extra planets. I don't think... I think extra plans is an add-on for Galactic Craft. I don't know if it, I don't even know if it's made by the same author, but um, it just feels like there's not a whole lot to it. I don't know. Yeah, I do need to take a break and fill up my coffee. That's for sure. Now, if you were playing just Galactic Craft only. No other mods, like no move fluids. You had to do the whole set up the station, collect air, fill up, get your liquid oxygen, and then do it that way. Like, I'm sure it would extend out the gameplay more, but it's still not going to be interesting. I don't know. It was interesting when I've never done it before, but now that I've played it, it's just like, eh, 
Meh. Meh. So we need redstone alloy, which we don't have yet. That is silicon plus redstone. I think we need just three silicon is all we need, right? Plus redstone. I have no idea how advanced rocketry works. It could be the same exact thing. I don't know. I hope it's different. I hope it's more unique. I hope it's more interesting. Never played with the mod before. It was fun to use Galactic Craft to make a moon base one time, but then I was like, wow, I'm on the moon and there's no resources, right? I think it's a great idea. I just think that the uh, mod author or the community should come up with something a little bit more interesting for it and kind of flesh it out more. Maybe. I don't know. And maybe that's what advanced rocketry is. Again, I've never used it, so I don't know. All right, so we need a little bit of cobblestone and some steaks. Uh, steak. So we got everything here except for these basic capacitors. So we need eight of the empowered crystals. I'm glad we already have those pre-made because those are kind of annoying to have to wait on. Uh, four electron tubes, four enriched gold. Did I put electron tubes down here? I feel like I did. Uh, I'm not seeing them though. I know I had extras. Maybe I put them. Oh, they're right here. Oh, you know what? I think I gotta do that twice, right? That's two per thruster. I gotta do that again. All right, we need eight of those for these. And for these. Okay. So that means we need two more of these as well. Ah, two redstone. Okay, so there is two thrusters. So now what are we missing for this? One more basic capacitor. I'm sorry to tell you guys. I'm sorry to let you know this, but you're a basic capacitor. I know. The truth hurts. The truth hurts. I don't want to lie to you. But the truth hurts. You're a basic capacitor. Conductive iron jetpack get! That's only a tier one. Uses. Electrical steel. So we need four electrical steel. Oh my goodness. The machine cha Oh, this is going to be a pain in the butt. So we need eight electrical steel. We need to get those empowered things going. Eight electrical steel. That's not like super crazy difficult, but. But, but Hypno, I thought it was an octatic capacitor. No, you know, that's my, that might be what people told you, but honestly, I'm giving it to you straight. It's just a basic capacitor. Uh, so let's look for. We don't have any electrical steel in there. All right, so let's cook up some electrical steel then. How about 16? That seems like a reasonable amount. Uh, we don't have iron over here. What else do we need? It was the, um, is it coal powder? Yeah, crushed coal. We have two. That's almost enough. Bum, 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 
open. What else is it for this? The empowered... Ardite and Rose. I'm gonna Ardite over here. I'm like trying to do two different things at once right now. But these are gonna take a while. We need to get these going right now. Ain't nobody got time to wait on them for later. I need four Rose. Oh, I got it. I keep forgetting how to laser these. Get lasered! There we go. Alright, so those are cooking up. So we were trying to make the electrical steel. Did we have any coal powder over here? It would not appear that we do. You're a basic capacitor. I like it. Uh, seven is that gonna be enough? Boom. That is still not enough. Mardi Gras kid. That's still not enough. Are we out of? No, we still got. I would have expected us to get more than enough out of those pieces of coal that we just crushed up, but no. No, apparently our RNG is not with us today. Can we get two out of this one? Just one. Oh my goodness. This one's going to give me like 12. Watch. Okay. You're lucky. Uh, so we need 16 iron. So we can make our electrical steel. Alloys only. Boop, boop, boop. All right, so we're going to go and take a break, guys. I've been streaming now for about two hours and 40 minutes. I need a drink. Oh, my goodness. I need a drink after this stream. I need to fill up my coffee. Um, use the restroom, stamp and stretch, walk around, get the blood flowing. Thank you so much for all the support today. I appreciate all the bits, all the tips or tip. I think it was just one. Subs and the resubs, you guys are fantastic people. Give me three minutes and we'll be your B. Yeah, the love. 
line Wrapped around the building like the bow on the gift box Skinny jeans, small tees, Jordans and thrift socks The chicks rock, yoga pants, sweaters and smock scarves And congregated clubs, coffee shops and the dark parks It all starts late, people wait at the gate The gatekeeper think we ain't equal Security hate people and straight treat you like three stacks And outcasts, those with clout pass The rest folk out cash As you enter the spot, temperatures hot Young ballers spin the hip in the guap Pippin' the pot, sippin' they pop The bottles put your tip in the pot Or let the brown look at hit your burners Put them in watch, so we the gal in my wine up the body like so And the man in my little bullshit party like bro It's ladies night There's maybe mama or maybe wife Looking for love in this crazy life right there. Well, that's a thing. So, I've been hearing a lot about these fidget spinner things, so I got one. If you guys haven't seen these before. It's just like... A weighted thing. It just spins. That's all it does, right? I dropped it. So you can spin it, and it's just like something to play around with. Like, as you move it back and forth, you can feel the centrifugal force or whatever applying pressure to it. I don't know. They're like fifteen dollars or thirty dollars or whatever on um, Amazon. There's expensive ones too. Like I saw them all the way up to about two hundred dollars. Oh, just a cool little toy to play around with. Can you guys even hear the sound that this thing's making? Maybe a little bit if I'm talking. It kind of makes like a little bit of a sound. Whoop! I hit my thing. But I was playing around with this thing. <laughs> I don't know if I can show you guys this or not. But um. Uh, yeah, you can get you can get them really cheap. You can get them cheap. Uh, there's different tiers, different prices for them. But I was playing around with this thing, and then I have like this uh, duster thing, you know, for air. So I was playing around with this, and you can get these things going like really fast. Oh my goodness, this thing's going at like such a crazy speed. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm going to wear out the, the bearings in it, but yeah, these things are just kind of like fun to play around with a little bit. Like, you can still hear it making sound just because it's spinning so fast. It's crazy. Alright. Anyway. So that's my little entertainment thing that I play around with when I'm bored now. The speed of it though, yeah, like, I don't know how fast it gets going, but it goes really fast. It's going to take off. It kind of sounds like it will. Ah, all right. Uh, so this is still cooking up over here. Oh, do we already have some already pre-made? Maybe I did. I mean, there might have just been one in there. That looked awesome. <laughs> All right, so we are in the process of making. Oh, I didn't. I did not do the thing. Electrical steel jetpack. I did not search for the right one. All right, there we go. Uh, 
music just a little too loud better uh so we need energy conduit i think we have some of those already made right so we need like four of those do, 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 do. so these machine chassis this is going to be a big pain in the butt also i did not realize but it also requires i'm going to say also also again also it does require more of these conductive iron thrusters which i did not realize Okay, so let's take a look at this. So we need two more of those. So that is going to be four more basic capacitors, four more basic gears. By the way, you're a basic capacitor and a basic gear. How does that make you feel? How does that make you feel? We're looking forward to the silicon. This will require... Well, I, um, Thankfully, I already have like 44 of it, right? So I think we're okay for now. For now, to get it to this tier anyway. It's just going to be a bunch of crafting to get to this point, but uh, we should be okay. Redstone conduit. Do I have more of that? Do I have enough. Okay, cool. So we have enough to do that. We have the empowered crystals made. I do need to get more of these. Four of those. Uh, that should... Oh, we need the, the gold. That should be everything. I think for those two more thrusters. Oh, I don't have sticks. Of course. Do, do, do. All right, so we got that. We got these. We need four of those. We can only make two for some reason. Why can we only make two? Because I only had enough stuff to make two. The so four more of that. Four more of that. 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 Those. Okay, so there's four basic capacitors. Okay, we need two redstone now. Doot, doot. All right, so there's two more of those to go into these. Uh, so we need four more basic capacitors. Six more basic capacitors. That is so many basic capacitors. I am tired of making the bait. We need seven more basic capacitors capacitors i am sick and tired of making these we don't have enough of these crystals we have enough to make four five i guess we had another one being crafted over here uh hi no what's up what are you doing uh hello nothing's up and i am currently doing a lot of crafting because that's what this pack requires me to do is a lot of crafting so much crafting it's gonna make me puke okay maybe not uh so what was it for these gold things i don't remember i know you gotta use a calculator Do, do, do calculator and redstone. That is all it requires. Go calculator. Once we get this kind of stuff automated, I'm going to be happy. Three basic capacitors. Ah, ah, four basic capacitors. I can't do the voice. But I do know the reference. My mouse thing? Oh my goodness. Why does it do that? I don't know. All you gotta do is go to full screen. Or I take it out of full screen. One of the two. If I go to full screen, does it still mess up? At what point does that mess up? Is it when I switch scenes? I'm not sure what cause is it when I tab out? I really don't know what causes that. 
Hmm. Something weird with OBS. If any of you guys know what I'm doing that causes that, feel free to let me know so I know how to fix it or correct it or be aware that I'm doing it and know that my mouse is going to be messed up. I don't know what's causing that, though. It seems like when I go to another scene, like when I go on break and I come back, maybe, and it's not on the game window for a while. But, uh, suck, Chris. Suh. What's more annoying, this pack's capacitor recipe or the Kappa mode one? The Kappa mode one, I don't remember how annoying it was, but it did have the capacitor seeds. So, I haven't had to make capacitors in a very long time. And now they got EMC in Kappa mode, I don't have to even worry about it. For you, it's when you have one software and another running in the background. I have lots of software running in the background. Oh, the QED recipe? What was the QED recipe for that? I can't remember. I don't remember. Anyway, uh, let's get back to this because I keep getting distracted. So we're trying to make all of these basic capacitors. Uh, we need the gold. We have the gold smelted. We need the copper. Okay. This. 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 I don't think we need seven. Let's just make six. Let's not be greedy here. All right. So we are missing the electrical steel and the machine frames. So that is a lot of cop or I'm sorry, not copper bronze that we need. Uh, so we need 16 bronze specifically for those gears. 32 bronze for both of the, for both, both of the thrusters. Uh, so bronze is tin and copper, right? Right. So it is three to one, one tin, three copper. So I need, I need to get myself some copper. Where's my copper? Where's my copper at? I don't have any copper. This makes me upset. The amount of copper that I have right now makes me upset. Um... We have a little bit of copper right there. That's not gonna be enough. Did I copper in one of these? Oh, I have copper right here. Yoink! You get anxiety when you think about the times you've had to craft thousands of those capacitors manually. It's not that bad. Okay, it's kind of bad. It is kind of bad. All right, let's go to the mining world and collect our copper ore that that's been collecting for us. And we'll check on our bees too. Maybe we'll get that uh, common. Chris says, Suh, just heard you say it. I'm now going to the office. Just had to do a crap ton of paperwork for this week. Ah, uh, that sucks. Hopefully work gets easier for you. Okay. Uh. Huh. Forest Meadows. Hmm. Hmm, what we got here? Meadows Forest. Forest Meadows. Forest Forest. You two make it to baby. Am I dropping frames? I have dropped 1400 frames. Which is 0.2% of the entire live stream so far. It does not appear like I'm currently dropping frames.
Hey, Hypno, may I ask how you get your mic to not receive background sound? Uh, what is called a noise gate? I use a noise gate, which when the microphone volume drops below a certain point, usually underneath the volume of what I'm speaking normally, it clamps off, it closes up. It like turns the microphone off is what it basically does. Then when I start speaking, it automatically opens back up and it allows stuff to pass through. Um, but yeah, noise gate. You can get noise gates for OBS. There's software noise gates, which will do the same thing. It's similar to like, I don't know if you ever use like TeamSpeak or Discord voice chat. If you do the voice activation, where you do the little slider for the voice activation level, it's similar in concept, right? Uh, the one that I use is hardware based. So it's even before it even gets to the PC, it's opening and closing the mic up for me. Oh, copper, right, right, right. I kind of got distracted and I was like, oh, let's rechat and let's just talk for a moment. We need copper. Thank you. Rip two bees, killed by drowning by Hypno, never forget. I did not kill the bees. I let the bees go free. I sent them back into the wild. What they choose to do with their life is their own deal. Oh, look at this. A full stack of copper ore. This thing is great. This thing is great. We didn't have to go mining. Uh, I guess I'll grab this right here. Look at all this copper right here. My goodness. How much copper is in this vein? Okay. I'm done freaking out. For now. Oh, I have cobblestone. Let's fill that in. You think I'm going to leave this here? I'm not. I got to mine it. I have to do it. All right, let's fill this in now. Let's get out of here. You're a full stack of copper ore. Your mom likes copper ore. What does that even mean? I don't know. Do, 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 do. I thought you were going to leave the hole open. You scared me. <laughs> All right. Uh, how much copper do we need? I think it was 32, right? Oh, no. We're doing... We need 27 is what it is. All right. I should probably get another one of these fluid conduits and leave her for the other side. Let's do that. Fluid conduit lever. Uh, conduit, conduit, conduit. Boop. So this needs to be in, out, set to extract with signal, in, out, extract without signal. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now if I can find the lever, that'd be even more perfect. Okay, so we want tin plus copper. And then I want some kind of auto extract into a chest. You know, we should hook that up now. We should. Why haven't I not done that yet? I am such a slacker. How are you guys even watching me play this game? Like, I don't even. I wouldn't watch me play this game. I'm such a such a dummy, dumb dumb. If you want to be technical about it, it's a dummy. I'm a dummy, dumb dumb. Is what it is. Uh, so I want my chest right here, I guess, for the receiving. Shoot. Extract always active. Boop, boop. 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 Now I'm stuck. Can I get that back? Thank you. Uh-huh. Now this can go away and we'll hook that up to the same thing. 
I could use my favorite translocators. The last time I tried using translocators in 1.10, they did not connect to the smell tree properly. Ever. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was random. Uh, every time I would try and use them, like they, like, it would pour the first time, the thing would solidify, and then they'd pop off, or it was something weird like that. That's probably fixed by now, but I don't know. The uh, ender conduits worked just fine for me. Uh, always active. In 1.10, they were fantastic, but it seems like there's problems in one... I'm sorry, 1.7, they were fantastic. 1.10 feels like there's problems with them. Where's the rest of the copper that I want to put in there? What's the difference? No redstone mode does the same thing. The difference is when no redstone mode, it pulls out of the casting basin. With redstone mode, it pulls out of here. If you have partial fill or you pour the wrong thing, you can flip the lever off and sucks it back into the smeltery. So I can fill this up or I can unfill it. That's the difference. Aluminum brass. I have like so much stuff in my inventory right now. I don't know what I need and what I don't need. I'm just going to throw this away, that away. We have a spot for prismarine. I do not need those ender pearls on me anymore. What about insert mode on a conduit? I don't understand what you're asking. Oh, did I not put insert on the chest? Oh, yeah, that's something that I wanted to do. Here we go. Good catch. They're not. I don't want to talk about that. I don't want to talk about that. Stop trying to talk to me about it because I don't want to talk about it. All right, so we got this tin ore. Let's put that away. All right, so where were we at? We were trying to make this stuff here. So we had the basic caps. We need to roll out a lot of iron. So we need 16. Isn't it more than 16? Yes, it is uh, 8 plus 3 more. So 11. we need 22 iron rolled out into plates. 22 iron. We don't have enough. Let's go grab our iron. I know we had like a stack and a half in the mining world. Is it awkward? Is what awkward? I just don't want to talk about it. Dude, okay, I thought we had a stack and a half. We only had a stack plus eight. We get a little bit more copper, though. How much gold do we have? We should probably smelt that, too, if we have gold in here. Might as well grab that, too, while we're here. Gold ore, we have 21. All right. Sep says, all right, gents, I am going to have fun, y'all. All right, Sep, we will see you next time. Hey, Hypno, what is your most favorite item, like the best item in the world for you? 
The wireless crafting terminal. So we need 22 iron. You would have thought the item dislocator. The item dislocator is a magnet, right? What am I doing? Stop it! I am upset about this. What I get for reading chat? From now on, I'm never reading chat. You guys brought this upon yourself. Why is that not... It's so weird how it does that sometimes. That's so weird. Now we'll do 22 iron plates. <clears throat> I don't know. People ask me what my favorite thing is in modern Minecraft. I don't really have an answer, so I have to pick something. Uh, 49er with those emotes. I don't know if you know, but you can press tab to auto complete them. So you can do like feels B and then hit tab and it auto capitalizes it and fills it up for you. Maybe you know, I don't know. Just letting you know though. If you didn't know, now you know. And knowing's half the battle. Alright, so there's two machine. There's two basic machine casings. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Your basic machine casing. I need more than that. Why do they say I only need 22? I guess we need double that, right? 44? I need another 22. Dog diggity 400 bits, but you must rechat. Also, new badge. Thank you for the 400 bits and congratulations on the new badge. It's awesome. Crossbow versus shurikens in this mod pack. I think the if you make unbreakable shurikens, you're probably better off. I don't know. I haven't really given crossbows a good go in 1.10. I know that the only reason they were good in 1.7 was because of extra tinkers, extra TIC. That mod, uh, that mod is no longer in 1.10, as far as I understand it. I don't know. Actually, no, I didn't know that. No, thank you. You're welcome, 49er. Yeah, tab autocomplete is fantastic for emotes. Fantastic. All right, there's four basic machine casings. Uh, so we need... 12 bronze plates. A bronze should be done. Do, 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 do. All right, so then we're gonna need ten. Is that the other part of that? Twelve ten. I don't know why though, but did they remove the R thing for tinkers? I believe they did, but I'm not 100% sure on that.
Okay, what else do we need here? We need... A lot of coal. It's fine, we can do that. Uh, so 16 steel rolled out. Do we have steel? Please tell me we have steel. We don't have steel. We don't have steel. I'm about to freak out. Uh, it's, I'm about to freak out. We have 16 steel over here. Oh, I'm going to freak out. All right, so I'm a dummy for not keeping our steel production up. Uh, okay, so bronze plates. We need 16 bronze smelted into plates. That is not where that goes. This. Uh, then we need what else? We need bronze plate for something else, don't we? This. So we need two, four, six, eight. We have exactly enough. My goodness. We have exactly enough. Then half of those have to be turned into the casings. Yeah, also the no moss thing. The, the dev said he didn't like infinite durability in tools. That doesn't make sense because a lot of the tools are free durability with mending. I believe you can put mending moss on your tools now and they will get durability from XP, right? You can do mending moss on there, I do believe. It's going to take a minute for that to complete. So we can start working on the rest of these things. Bronze gears. Oh my goodness. Okay, so that is four, eight. I guess we should do another thing of bronze like I just did. So 20, whoop, what did I just do? 27 copper, nine, 10. Mending moss versus mending, which is better after the nerf on the first? Are you saying mending moss is better? I don't understand what you're trying to say. I think the mending moss is great because not only can you repair your tool, but it also has like an XP buffer in it, right? So... Like you can fully repair it and then give it a buffer of XP and you don't even have to get experience for a while. It will just repair itself. Or you could put a piece of copper on it or bronze, whichever gives you the well established and get pretty much XP from anything, which will auto repair it. I mean, there's a lot of really good stuff that you can do with it. I just wish you could put more modifiers on your tools. I think that's the limiting factor that we have to deal with right now. Uh, so we were making bronze for bronze ingot, so I can just turn that on. Mending moss has always been better. Normal mending does not always take the XP. Hmm. Okay, so now we can make our bronze gear. So we need, oh, we need more steel too. Oh my goodness. I feel like such a dummy for not leaving the steel running. Uh, the other blast furnace, the non-crude one, I've never made, but it's faster, right? Is it more efficient or is it just faster? If it's more, if it's faster, I'll go and make it. If it's more efficient, that'll be a bonus. Does anybody know? I have never made the upgraded version of that blast furnace. Blast furnace. Why don't I see it in here? 
Why do I not see it in here? Is that a heavy? Improved blast furnace. Why does it say steel plate? Oh, you need a steel plate plus blast brick to make this. It's much more professional way of creating steel. Not only does it allow the automation of in and output, but it can also be outfitted with preheaters to speed up the refinement process by addition of hot air. The furnace is made from reinforced bricks, so you be advised to spend your first batch of steel on this upgrade. Hopper is added to the top. Oh, okay, so it's one block taller. So we're gonna need 27 steel plus a hopper to do this. Steel is output at the front of the furnace, slag at the back, and the furnace will automatically output to connected inventories or conveyor belts. That's awesome. Iron and coal coke are fed in through the top. That is also awesome. I feel like we should do this. I feel like that's going to be really annoying because that's going to have to be poking up into the water, but I feel like we should do this. I don't really know, Hypno, if I have a condenser microphone set up, do I need to have a phantom power supply and also a USB sound card? Uh, you don't need a USB sound card, but you do need a way to get your microphone into your computer. So this is a condenser microphone. It is getting phantom power from my preamp. My preamp is plugged into my mixer and my mixer has a USB in interface that plugs into the computer. Right. Um, but yeah, it, you need some kind of way to get the audio out of your microphone, out of the XLR and convert it into either a 3.5 millimeter jack that plugs into the microphone port on your computer, or you need to get a USB interface. So it plugs in through USB. Um, yeah, I've never made the upgraded version of the blast burner, so I'm interested in doing it. I just hope it'll be able to work with our current setup here. I might have to make like a little extension above it a little air pocket, move the roof up a little bit for it. I don't know. Or maybe just move it to a different location. I guess we could kind of like stick it out here or something. I really don't want to do that. We could move it like over here, put the blast furnace like right here. I don't know. What happened to all my XP levels? I keep putting all my XP into our experience obelisk here. Oh, I guess I had a little bit more that just weren't showing. When you teleport between dimensions in Minecraft, there's a bug where it like stops showing your XP. Mm-mm. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 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 Uh, BCD Sant says, Hey, Hebno, I'm watching Day 9 on YouTube. I just came to say hello. Well, hello. Glad you're enjoying the VODs on YouTube. They will need RF power. Well, thankfully, we have RF power that's already running over here. Like right below this block right here. Energy conduit, so we can just run that over. Yep, we can just run that over to wherever it needs to be. Uh, hi, Snatch? His, his Nat? Not? I don't know how to pronounce your name. I apologize. It says, your YouTube is wonderful. That's what led me here also. Well, welcome. Welcome. Glad you guys... Decided to stop by from the YouTube. Bum, bum, bum. Minecrafter, what are you asking me right now? You're asking a lot of strange questions. 
that frankly are rather annoying. Um, I don't understand what you're asking me right now. So go ahead and clarify it. The car. What? What are you talking about? I have no idea what you're talking about. So do I have those basic capacitors made? I do have those made. Uh, we're waiting on the steel for this. We have these ready to go. Oops. So we're waiting for the steel for the rest of this. Man, we're waiting on the, just like steel right now. Oh, we should be getting the carbon plates made. That's what we need to do. If you're not trying to troll, I don't know. I don't know. The questions you're asking yesterday almost made me just ban you. Like, you're just asking a bunch of random questions with no context. So, is that all we need, actually? Can we just do that? Oh, we can't just do that. So four, two, four. Okay, so we need double what we just made right there. I guess I can throw those in the compressor. Uh, how long have I been a broadcaster for? I've been doing live streaming for a while now. Um, according to Twitch, over two years because I got my two year uh, sub badge. I guess that's when I got partnered originally. I've been doing streaming before that on and off, not regularly. But I got partnered, I guess, about two years ago. I was live streaming for a bit and it was fun. And then I kind of like lost interest in it for whatever reason. No, actually, no, I was live streaming on Twitch. And then YouTube Gaming came out is what it was. And they sent me an invite and they're like, hey, if you go to YouTube Gaming, We'll uh, promote your channel if you stream so many hours a week and this and that. So I tried it out for a little bit, but according to the Twitch partner contract, you can't stream on other services if you're a partner. So I, I uh, removed my partnership from Twitch because I wasn't really that invested in it. Like I got partnered and it was okay, but YouTube was still paying the bills. Twitch wasn't. Uh, so I tried YouTube gaming and that just like flopped. It was terrible. There was nothing good about it. And then... After I kind of felt demotivated, after that I felt demotivated. So I didn't stream for a little bit of time, but then I just came back to streaming regularly about 13 months ago, I guess now. Maybe maybe it was about a year ago. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I've been doing it, I guess you'd say full time, five days a week, six hours a day. Although that wasn't always my schedule. I think when I came back, I was doing it every day. But that kind of burned me out. But yeah, we've been... I've been streaming constantly at least five days a week, at least 30 hours for uh, about a year now. Yep. I've been doing YouTube though, if you consider that broadcasting, I don't know if that's what you're, if the scope is it just meant for live streaming, but I've been doing YouTube content on my channel for is this six years now? I think I uploaded my first Minecraft Let's Play in 2011. April, May, March of 2011, something like that. I don't remember. Been doing videos for a while now. <laughs> oh my goodness. It has been a while. It doesn't feel like it's been that long, but it's been a while. What is... Oh, no, we're fine. I thought I saw something in there. 
So do we take our first bit of steel and upgrade our blast furnace, or do we take this and just make the parts that we need to move on with our life? I kind of want to upgrade the blast furnace. Twenty eleven. That seems like forever ago now. It was a while ago, definitely. Yeah. When you restarted, it was seven days a week, six hours a day. Yeah. That was a lot of time. I was like, I was really motivated. I wanted to make Twitch a thing. I wanted to be sure, like, if something happened to YouTube, my account got closed, YouTube went under, all the ad ad people pulled out like what just happened recently i wanted to have like some kind of other income that's why i decided to do twitch and so in case one thing goes down i'm not dead in the water like i can still continue doing what i'm doing upgrade vote upgrade upgrade more steel What do you think about Steel Series as a company in regard to their headphones? I've heard of the company. That's about as much information as I can give you. I have no idea how their headphones are, if they sound good, if they're comfortable, or anything like that. I've been using Beats headphones. I'm not sponsored by them, but I've been using their headphones for a very long time now because they're comfortable. They sound good. And I've been using those probably four or five years now, I would say. And I would recommend them. They are expensive, but I would recommend them. They, they're they fantastic. That's not to say that there might not be a cheaper headphone out there that sounds equivalent or is just as comfortable, because I haven't tried every single headphone out there. But I did purchase Beats Studio headphones, and I liked them. I liked them so much, I kept a pair at home, and then I bought another pair for work so I could listen... To music while I was at work on my comfortable headphones uh, and then eventually those things broke like the uh, the top bar or whatever cracked and they weren't staying on my head properly so I had to buy another pair that's what these are these are the um, the studio wireless ones beat studio wireless yeah the dr. Dre ones right Do I make more money on YouTube or does Twitch compete pretty well? It really depends on Twitch. I'm not going to give you numbers, but most of the income that I get from Twitch is from people doing bits or donations or whatever. The other way you make money on Twitch is through ad revenue, which I never run ads really. I tried doing it a little bit. It's really not worth my time or the annoyance for the viewers. It's not worth it. Um, I get money through subscriptions to the channel, but I don't have like a huge amount of subscribers. It's a nice amount of income. I'm not complaining, but it's not enough to live off of. So pretty much the only way that I can successfully continue to do Twitch is through people cheering and donating, tipping, things like that. I've had months so far that are better than YouTube. Most months are not as good. I keep getting it every time I watch you rip. I don't understand what you're talking about. T F E. The ad revenue is more of a thing for games with long loading screens and long, long breaks all the time. It's pretty much only a thing where if you're going to run ads, you need to have thousands of viewers for it to be even worth doing. Like, it's just not good. The revenue is not good on Twitch as far as running ads go. Um, I'm kind of stuck. I want to continue working on stuff, but what else can we work on? I guess we could finish up making this. 
We should have all the parts ready to go for the advanced alloys, I think, right? Yeah, to be honest, Beats is like Razor. They are not so good for the money. Check Sennheiser. If I ever need a new pair of headphones, I'm probably going to get Beats again. I like them. I like the way they sound. They're a little pricey, but I'm not like breaking my headphones all the time. So it doesn't really matter. My only complaint about the older version of the Beats headphones that I had was that you had to put in two AAA batteries. They had to have battery power in order to work. If your batteries died, you had no music. And that was the thing that really, really annoyed me about them. These ones have a rechargeable battery and you can charge it through a USB cable. So that makes it like so convenient. Just plug them in every night. <laughs> or if you forget to plug them in, you can still have a charge while you're listening to to them through the USB. So that's also convenient. But I really like these headphones because of the noise canceling. Like you put them on, you turn them on, you don't hear anything. The noise canceling is great. Maybe for home, it's not as big of a deal. But like when I was at a working environment, just drowning out everybody and only hearing the music. That's the only thing I cared about. So I could go into focus mode. So we could do this if we had the steel plates, which we don't. We have these, we have these, we have that. We just need the steel plates. Um, We have those made. This is the next thing. We need to empower these. So let's get this done. Oh, we need the steel for this as well. Neon Bob with 1,045 bits. Sploosh! And maybe a little refill. Neon Bob, thank you for the 1,045. Appreciate that. Oh, you know what, Team Raffle Stomp? I did not see your bits. Sorry about that. Uh, Team Raffle Stomp with 50 bits about 20 minutes ago. No, about 10 minutes ago. And I'm back from working out, and I'm ready to program again. And here's some bits to top up the cup. But thank you, Team Raffle Stomp, for the 50 bits. Appreciate it. Yeah, we're kind of, we're waiting. We got to get this thing upgraded. We need seven, I'm sorry, five more steel. Five more steel to upgrade that. Puts a super awesome quality and sound for audio files, but they are super expensive. Yeah, if I had a lot of money to try all the different top-end headphones, I would. I don't. <laughs> I mean, I guess you could buy things off Amazon and then return them, but you still got to pay the shipping and then go drop it off at whatever the UPS store or something. That's annoying to do. I could try all the different headphones and try and find out which one's the best one that way, but I'm happy with my headphones. I have no reason to switch to anything else. I can make a preheater for the blast furnace. That's true. I think Captain Mush just got his gold badge. Wow. Captain Mush, did you just join the gold club? I know you were close. Oh man, Captain Mush with 21,630 bits. My goodness, sir. Thank you so much for that generous donation. Uh, it says, let's make this a good month for Twitch. And I was tired of the green badge. Wow, there it is. Okay. Uh, now I got to take a minute here. And add you to our gold badge section. Thank you so much. My goodness, that is a lot of bits to drop. Very appreciated. Mute tab. Uh, how do I get to this thing here? 
I don't have anything fancy, but I do want to add your name to at least show appreciation. Uh, Captain Mush. Submit. All right, new member added to our gold club panel. Oh, no, oh, failed, failed. Redo that, edit. There you go, that should be fixed. Do, do, do. Yeah, so 49er, Sunset Whiskey, Mark and a Mac, Forky Dork and Cap and Mush are now our gold club members. Thank you guys so much for all the support to the channel. I do appreciate that. That bit boss will take a while. It probably will. You just looked at the top of the line Sennheisers. They're fourteen hundred dollars. Pretty expensive headphones. Yeah, I won't go over five hundred dollars for headphones. There's no reason to. $500 for headphones is a real big expense specifically for headphones. But as I listen to headphones for eight hours a day up to 14 hours a day, I think it's worth having a good quality pair of headphones. That's, that's my opinion. That's not everybody. Some people listen to headphones 30 minutes a day. Maybe they go to the gym and work out. Something expensive is not for you. Uh, but for what I do, and the fact that I like listening to music in high quality, I think it's worth it for me. But $1,400, $1,500, no. That is not something that I think is reasonable. <laughs> me Popsicle says, I'm inching closer to the pink club. Nice. A uh, Chuvin with 27 bits. Poke, poke, stab, stab. <laughs> Thank you for the 27 bits, Juven. Alright, you know what? We're stopping this. I'm not waiting on this any longer. We have 27 steel. We should be able to upgrade this. So let's do it. Yeah, I know some people get, like, the Beats headphones or whatever. Specifically because they want to feel cool or... That's not why I have them at all. That's why I just have the plain black ones. Same thing for the chair that I am. People get the DX Racer chairs because that makes them look cool or whatever. I don't want the flashy ones. I don't care about that. I got it because I want a chair that's comfortable. Do we need iron plates too? We have to roll out that 27 iron, right? Or 27 steel? What are these things called? Glass brick? Does it have to be rolled out? Kind of looks like it does, doesn't it? So, we, yeah, we need to roll out 27 steel plates. Bum, bum. White Black says, Hypno, what kind of power do you like using more specifically free but slow power like solar power or fuel-based power that gives you, like, a bit more power per tick? I.e. lava generators. All of this is more relating towards the beginning of the pack, not end game. Solars are fine, but they only work half the time. And I guess you could sleep. I prefer having something that's a consistent power, like... I don't care if it's night or day, I just want the power to always be there. So it doesn't matter what it is. Um, I like power systems that are a little bit more interesting to set up though. Solar panels, like you craft them, you set them down, you're done. Boring. Water wheels are kind of the same way you craft them, you set them up, you're done. But they're kind of more interesting, I guess. They have moving parts, they look like they're actually doing stuff. I don't know. Um, I... Probably the most interesting and probably the the best 
Now, probably the most interesting power system I set up was either the one on FTB Ultimate, where I was doing everything through bees, because that was like a huge thing, where it's like, you breed the bees, you collect the combs, you put the combs through the centrifuge, you take the propolis and put that through the squeezer, you take the oil, put that through the, uh, the, the refinery, then you take the fuel and you put that into the engines, the engines produce power, then you gotta store that, like that, it just felt like a complete system, like it felt like a working system that was not just, you know, craft a solar panel and pl place it down. Like, it felt interesting. It felt like there was a lot of moving parts. I don't know. That's the kind of stuff I prefer. But, I don't know. At some point in the mod pack, obviously, you need more power. And there's only... It gets fewer and fewer options the more and more power you need. So, I don't know. That's the way I feel about it, I guess. It's just things that are more interesting is what I prefer. But just because they're interesting doesn't necessarily mean I want to do them. Like, they have to be functional and interesting. The treadmills with pigs wasn't a thing to make power. Uh, that made a specific power for the sink mod. I do not believe that actually made RF. This needs a hopper on top, so we're going to have to deal with that. Do I need access to that hopper? Maybe we should do this. Open this up down here so the water has a place to go. And extend the roof up a little bit. Oh, come on. The Wellington Tower, that was pretty interesting too. I did like that one. But it was kind of a shame it kept breaking like every update to the mod they changed the way that the that you had processed the um soybeans like it just felt like it was too much upkeep let me out let me out Oh, that block fell down here. Is my inventory really full that I can't pick up that one block? Okay. I should put on my aquatic gear. What did I do with that? Is it right here? Alright. I guess we'll go two blocks up. up there is that gonna suck up the water below i don't know how that all works where is my sponges sponge okay that's exactly what i wanted to do I have to get my own mod pack made somehow. I don't have the time nor the want to make my own mod pack. 
I do not want to have to deal with people having problems and trying to solve their problems for them. I, I don't care. That's not something that interests me at all in the least. I guess we're gonna have to remove blocks like that so I can get up there. Okay, we need a hopper now. Uh, so I need I need a little aluminum. Nope, that's my goal. Where's the aluminum? This stuff. I need one more block for the preheater on the right. Okay. Do I need to put a preheater over here? I don't... Let's smack with a hammer and just see, because I don't know. I don't know anything about this thing. Never tried doing this before. Ooh, that's weird looking. Does that take up... Can I... Like, how much space is that actually taking up? It looks like a partial block, so I guess it is still taking up that same space. It just looks a lot smaller. It's got smaller hitboxes. Okay, so we got a spot here, spot here, and the thing back here. That's where the slag goes, so I guess we want a chest back there, or a drawer. I'll use a chest for now. We can upgrade to a drawer later. So it said the resulting items get put into the front, slag goes to the back, it said it pushes items into chests, now we got a space on either side, are those the preheaters then? So one steel plate per sheet. So we need to do eight steel. I'm sorry, not steel, eight iron. I have so much stuff in my inventory, goodness. Uh, I don't know why I still have this bed on me. I gotta clean out all this stuff in here. Like, I gathered all this stuff. I never emptied that out. Like, my inventory is such a mess right now. This is driving me crazy. Um, that can go away. That can go away. Slag can go down here. Or should I take all the slag and just put it into that back chest over here so we have a spot for that? Because that's taking up more space than what I need. So this still requires charcoal, it would appear. So we can preheat it to warm it up. So we need to get ourselves eight iron rolled out into plates and turn those plates into iron sheets or whatever. Yep. Quad bed for the win. I mean, why would you sleep in only a single bed when you can make multiple to sleep in? I wonder if you can put chisel and bits around it. You might be able to. I don't know. Okay, there's those. And then we need this thing, which is LV wire. Another iron lasered. Bum, bum. I 
I think we had copper wire. I hope we do, because I don't really want to make all that stuff. I mean, we'll have to if we need to, but... Alright, uh... I guess we had to roll out... Four copper... I guess I could just use that. That's bronze. That's not copper. I can't use that. That's bronze. You dummy. Do I need these other crystals? Like, do I need this stuff on me? I don't know. I'm just putting stuff away at this point. Like, I have too much stuff. It is super hard for me to figure out what I need and what I don't need right now. Uh, so copper plates... Drill a whoop, that's five. Drill a four of those, make the rest of our LV wires. Boop. Do I need two preheaters or is one good enough? I don't know. Dude, 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 what do I do with my shears? <sighs> what did I do with my shears? I know I just had them. I didn't hear that I'd miss them. Did I click them into this chest over here? What did I do with them? Did anybody see what I did with them? I'm looking here a fourth time. I still don't see shears in here. Are they in my inventory? Am I really that blind? How am I not seeing them if they're in my inventory? Oh my goodness, I am super blind! How did I not see those? Sorry. Guys, has anybody seen my glasses? Has anybody seen my glasses? Guys, I've lost my glasses. Alright, so there's that. Like, uh, this one. This one. This one. That. Make it. All right, four iron, four copper, and a redstone. Is it three copper? Four copper. Just three copper. Do, do, do. Okay. Blast furnace preheater. I assume the little knobs gonna face the thing. Yeah, this requires power. I'm stuck. Do -do -do. Is that enough energy conduit? Hopefully. Just enough. Oh, where does this thing get power from? Not the bottom, obviously. Don't tell me I have to put the power into the top. Do I have to put the power into the top? Immersive engineering. Why? Why do you do these things? It's so immersive.
I'm happy that I'm one block short. That makes me really happy that I'm one conduit short. It's so immersive. Look at look how immersive this is. This is like the most immersive thing ever. <clears throat> I don't care what they want me to do. I'm not doing it that way. They can't make me. It's not happening. How do I make more of those conduit? Is that more redstone stuff? Didn't I even have to... Okay, energy conduit. I thought I'd use those for that jetpack. I guess I was incorrect. Conductive iron, so that's iron plus redstone. Iron plus redstone. Did I make extra conductive iron earlier? If I did, it would be over here. I feel like I made a little bit earlier, a little bit extra. I did. All right, caught to a binder. Let's eat. I'm hungry. Um, six of these. Are you guys immersed in the engineering right now? I know I'm pretty immersed. Very immersive. So I think what I might do is just run this around the back and up just so I don't have to look at the cables. Especially now since I had to make more and we have a little bit more to work with here. I'm super immersed right now. This is like very immersive. I like the part where I just turned that to obsidian. That was great. That's my favorite part. Okay, who here is not immersed right now? Seriously, which one of you is not immersed? Because what I just did, it's pretty immersive. Just saying. Just saying, it's pretty immersive. Look at how immersive that is. All right, so this thing now has power. So I should be able to put iron in there, right? And just start making... Can we make steel now? That's that's kind of what I want to do. Can we make steel now? Is this supposed to be faster? Does this thing need to be turned on? Do I need to give this a redstone signal? Would this thing be spinning? I have no idea. Redstone signal. Is this thing just working? I have no idea what's going on here. It doesn't feel like this thing's any faster though. Can't lie, that's pretty immersive. Uh, Is there a way to turn that on? Do I need a second one of those? Does anybody know how this thing works? It is faster. It appears to be going through the charcoal faster. That's about the only thing I'm noticing. But the fact that it puts that here, that's awesome. 
Uh, so I guess we should auto feed in. How do you put in coal? Do you feed in coal through here? Or do I put another preheater on this thing? And if I do, where would I put the coal in? Need two of them to really see a difference. So coal goes in the top also. I hope you guys are like immersed right now. Bum, 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 bum. At least I can jump up in here. That's awesome. I do like that. Okay, that's fine. That works for me. Redstone Freak Jr. says, Hypno, I have one dream. Make me a basic capacitor bank. You are a basic capacitor bank. You are one. You just didn't realize it. This right here, this is you. I'm looking right at you. You stop being immersed when they put a tundra next to your desert biome. Okay, so now that we got all that done, we need the steel. Thank you. Uh, I probably should make another pre here, but I'll work on that a little bit later. We need the steel for these things. So that is two copper. Don't have copper over here. I keep looking for copper over there and I don't have it over there. Uh, copper steel. Ah. And then bronze around this guy. Okay, so bronze gear, bronze item casing, bronze plate. I need the large bronze plates from over here. All right. Uh, Mr. Ganbo says, Hypno, do you love me? I like you. I think you're a pretty cool dude. Pretty cool person, I should say. I don't even know if you're a dude or not, but I mean, you got Mr. in your name, which infers that you are a guy. Uh, I like you. All the lasers. I mean, I don't want to assume. We need two more large plates. We need eight more steel, two more copper, eight more bronze. Uh, but I love you, right? Says Evil Lion. I like you, Evil Lion. I like you too.
It's all G says I just joined. So GG on the capacitor bank? Question mark? Thanks. Uh, yeah, all we're waiting on is three more steel here. Mr. Ganbu says, I like you too. I thought you loved me. I thought you loved me. I'm upset. Why does this take so long? Oh, go faster. Ooh, yay, one done. Two more. This is getting very weird. It happens sometimes. It does get weird in here sometimes. So that requires two of these. No, four of those. Dun, dun, dun. We still need more steel for this. I'm pretty happy about the fact that we need all the steel and we don't have it. Uh, that makes me pretty happy, I have to say. I, I like that. That's my favorite part so far. I guess what we could do, instead of me not doing something, we could do something. How's that sound? I like doing things. Let's make more bronze! Yay! Bronze! Forty nine says we've all been friend zoned. He doesn't love any of us, just likes most of us. Most of you. I have no friend zoning. Chad is the best. <laughs> Dog diggity says, "Well, I for sure know Hypno doesn't love me. He didn't come to my barbecue last Saturday. Come on, man. I was only a twelve hour drive. Sorry, I'm just kind of a jerk like that. Sometimes I like my alone time." All right. I just like my alone time. All right, bronze being made. Do we have? Oh, we got these. I only need two, not three. All right, let's do this. So we needed this, 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 and I need my two more copper, which I put away. I was like, I didn't need it. I needed it. I'm a heartbreaker. I can see that. Hmm. I'm like not mousing very well today. Okay. So in here goes those and over here goes these. Yay. Yay. Things are happening. Right, so let's get rid of this. All right, so at this point we have this to work on. So we need eight more steel to make these. No, we need 16, 16 more steel. So I guess in the meantime, while we're waiting for that, I will make another preheater. If we can make this go faster, everybody will thank me for it. Uh, so we need one more iron. We need eight more copper rolled down to plates. Iron. Iron. Eight copper. Let's laser iron, because I will forget to do that if I don't do it now. Get lasered. All right, let's roll out our copper plates. 49 says, I'm single too, so we can be single together. Oh, Evil Lion, Lion said, I'm even, or so even you don't love me, 49er C. I guess that's why I'm still single. And the 49er says, I'm single too. We can be single together. All right. Uh, shears. Has anybody seen my shears? I don't know where my shears are. Guys, anybody? Shears? Has anybody seen them? All right. So we need two steak. Mm -hmm, that is not what I wanted to do. 
Nice try, game. Nice try. All right, so one of those numbers plus one of these. Boom, done. So continuing on from that, I need three copper, four iron, one redstone. Four iron, three copper. Four and three. Nope, this. Why? Right click on the thing. There it is. All right, so now we need eight more iron rolled into plates. Is anybody tired of all the crafting that I'm doing yet? Anybody? Just wait until we start the IC2 reactors. Yep. Mm-hmm. Just wait for that. Oh, goodness, they're touching. They're touching! It's touching! At least they're not balls. It's not. At least they're not the dragon ball storage that's touching. Because that was just a little awkward. Uh, where are my conduits? Right there? I can't even get back there now! What the... Can I get back through here? Aha! Secret hiding place passage. Is this going faster now? Is this even going faster? It doesn't really feel like it is. It probably is. It really doesn't feel like it's going much faster though. Twice the preheaters, twice the immersion. Look at how immersed we are right now. So we need four more. I'm like super immersed. Shears go away. Look at how clean my inventory is starting to look now. I don't even want to look in that golden bag anymore. That makes me disgusted. So we have gold. We have these. This. Those are all useful. That we have a spot for. That we have a spot for. Bees we have an area for. I guess we can put that into our mob chest. That we have a spot for. We have a spot for that one as well. And those. We have a spot for cobble. This is going to be thrown away. That's thrown away. I don't really think we need these instant health potions, so I'll throw those away. Ambrosia is fine. I guess we can use that for food. That can go over here with the bee stuff as well. B B B. This stuff, mob drops, mob drop. I guess I'll put the. Uh, we can put this over at the bees, I guess, because it's kind of bee food. You don't feed it to the bees, but you get it from bees. Uh, mob drop, health potions. I'm just gonna throw away. Ah, eh, you know what? I'm gonna drink those and save the bottles. Waste not, want not. Item frame gets thrown away. We have a spot for cobblestone and ender pearls. Uh, boat gets thrown away because I don't really care about you anymore. Boat. I think that's about it. 
Ambrosia is used for recipe later. Dimension Builder recipe. Oh, wait, if we just skip something for that, I didn't even look. Are there uses for this? Oh, we can turn it into Biomash. Yeah, look at that. Dimension Builder. HDPE sheet. No, no, I refuse. You cannot make me do the HDPE sheet. I will not do that. What is it? A helium plasma? Your helium plasma cell. Fusion reactor. There's a fusion reactor in this? They added the fusion reactor to Tech Reborn? Okay, now I'm interested. Now I am officially interested. I did not know that they added this to Tech Reborn. I am officially interested. This is the same thing that was in Greg Tech in FTB Ultimate that I never got a chance to play around with. I always wanted to. I'm going to regret saying that, but I always wanted to play around with this. LOL Hypno, you must and you shall make that HDPE sheet. You cannot make me. I will cheat it in. No, you can use it in the culinary generator for 64 RF per tick for 30 seconds. I don't like the new textures. I like the older textures of this stuff better. This just looks too square now. It's weird. It's so weird. Anyway, uh, so preheaters, we don't need that on our search. What are we waiting on right now? I needed 16 steel to make the advanced machine casings. How's this happening over here? Cool. Things are looking good. So let's roll out 16 steel. HDPE isn't that bad, I know. I just got done automating that in Project O Zone 2 Kappa mode. Was that video released yet? Maybe spoiler alert. Maybe spoiler alert. I don't know. Did I ever build a mechanism reactor? I'm not sure if I ever did. I don't think so. There is four advanced machine casings. Uh, so we need four basic capacitors, which I think we already have over here. Spoilers, no! Hey, two more sturdy casings. Um, That's it, so we just need the iron bars and then some seed oil. Why have I not been making seed oil? What is wrong with me? Hmm. Hmm. That makes me so mad. That makes me so mad right now. I'm such a dummy. HCPE is high density polyethylene. I have no idea. Maybe. Sure. I'll go with yes. I, I don't know though. I mean, I guess technically, since we have the bees over... I mean, technically, guys. Technically. Since we have the bees already going automated over there, we could start into tree breeding. Which would be as simple as just placing two trees next to each other, next to the bees. Technically, guys, we can do that. Technically. I'm so. Ooh. 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 Fixed. I was about to read you saying that I'm so good at this game, and then I just did that. I'm such a noob. I'm pretty terrible at this game. 
ha. I'm looking at you. Ha ha. Ha ha. Ha ha. Got him. He yeah, undrafted gravel. Nice. Canola seeds for oil, too. But we set up this pumpkin farm specifically, specifically, uh, for the seeds to make this stuff, so. Canola we are currently using for EU powers. What world gen is this? Default? Oh my goodness, now we gotta wait forever for this to finish. Such a dummy for not keeping up on that. All right, let's set the recipe for this. Which I think that's reverse. I don't know if that matters though. I don't know if it's shapeless. That's incorrect this way. I was right the first time. That's, that still doesn't look right. Sturdy casing, iron casing. I didn't make the iron casings. It is this way. So I guess we're not ready to go yet. I still have more to do here. Stop turning it. Okay, uh, let's put that wrench away so I stop turning the stupid thing. So we need to turn this into a iron casing. So that means we need 16 more steel, our advanced alloys, and our carbon plates. We need 16 black quartz and 16 iron. I was like, that does not seem right. I was like, that does not seem right. Bum, bum, bum. There we go, iron casings. There it is. Now we need the iron bars in there, and we also need 700 more millibuckets of seed oil. Uh, so iron bars, I guess we need iron to make iron bars, right? Probably. That's usually how you make iron bars, is with iron. I still can't believe the patience you have for this grainy pack. Well, you know what? I have six hours a day to kill for streaming, right? If I do something that takes no time at all, then I'll be done with it and we'll be moving on all the time. I prefer playing something steadily for a while as opposed to like keep switching it up all the time. So it works perfectly for that. LOL brain fray from all the recursive crafting. That's exactly what it is. We got half of what we need right now as far as seed oil goes. Hurry up, squeezer. I mean, I guess I could do the whole chipset thing. By the time I even get halfway done with making the socket, we'll already have the bucket. What is that thing called? I search for advanced and like everything comes up. Great. Everything comes up because of whatever this says that press control for advanced info. That's awesome. Good job on that. Uh, refined circuit board. Advance isn't even one of those. You're a basic circuit board. So if I want to make the intricate one... Wow, that's inexpensive. I assume this recipe is disabled and this is the actual recipe. I don't even want to look at what this is.
I I don't know. I want to learn that mod, but I just feel like I feel like it's too much right now. It's just too much. Sometimes things in modern Minecraft are just too much. He played Final Fantasy. There is no such thing as too grindy compared to that. Uh, which Final Fantasy do you speak of, Josh? Any of them? Is there a specific one? Because there's like... There's a lot of Final Fantasies out there. I'm missing the iron bars. Mr. Munition says, hey, have no started watching you during mod sauce. Been lurking here for a hot minute. Well, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Mod sauce was like forever ago, and I never really played that much of it. Okay, so we have these. We should have these, I think. We might have to make another one of those. Electrical steel, is that already done? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We need more basic capacitors. Uh, We need two, three more? I need three more basic capacitors. We don't have enough empowered. Unless there's another block over here that got made. We need to make another one. Mod Sauce was a cool pack. I wish Hermit did Mod Sauce 3. I kind of feel like Mod Sauce and Hermit Pack are pretty equivalent as far as interest goes. As far as my interest goes. What age am I in? The age of going crazy. I believe it is the Ender IO age or whatever. The Ender age, number five, something like that. Uh, this Does this seem like more of a rabbit hole than Infinity Evolved? I think it does, yeah. I would feel like this is probably grindier than Infinity Evolved Expert. Hello, Miller. Come on, this thing should be about done. There it is. Big cup is love, big cup is life. All right, so there is enough for three. We need those. And I don't remember. Enriched gold. All right, let's make three more basic capacitors. That seems right. Um, energy conduit. Do we have extra, or did I use it all? I might have used. I might have used it all. I think I used it all. So that energy conduit is conductive iron. So we do need three more iron, three more redstone. Unless I had extra over here, I have one. Let's just make two. I'm almost out of iron. Again. Again. Almost out of iron. Again. Will you still want to be true? I can 
Never thought of returning to vanilla. I'd love to see in Hermitcraft Season 5. I have not thought about it. You can... You can do everything in vanilla Minecraft that you can do in modded Minecraft. I'd rather not, at this point in time, limit the amount of things that I can do. Because I like keeping the game interesting. There's two electrical steel thrusters! Oh my goodness. Electrical steel jetpack tier two! The crafting. Oh my goodness. The more and more recursive this crafting gets, the less and less I'm enjoying it. Uh, let's charge it up, I guess. Miller says, LOL, hi again, Hypno. I've been here just in lurk mode. Did I say hi to you earlier? Maybe I did. I don't know. I've been doing so much crafting. Oops. I mean, we can use this now to like come up here and like clear out some stuff. Instead of like spending time crafting, like I've been wanting to get rid of this upper layer. We can do that. I thought there was more to this upper section than that. Is there not? There's this little, whoop. It's like this little spot up here. You know what we could do? This spot up here, this could be our trophy room. This is like the highest point in here. This could be our trophy room. I kind of feel like that's what I want to do with that. Let's let's turn that into our trophy room. This is now officially our trophy room. I wish these told me they do tell me. I don't know which ones. I don't know which ones first. Honestly, don't know. Calculator and power, then sturdy casing. Calculator. Sturdy casing. Then that one. I like it. What I don't like is all these little rooms. Boom, boom, boom. Hmm, that's a problem. Random pocket of water there for no reason. Now, does this go into the ocean? Nope, there is a room back there. Again, just random water for no reason.
and power and calculator are backwards uh calculator first and then empower did i put them the wrong way now I've, where is my spot i lost i lost my trophies up here oh they are the wrong way Does that make sense that it flew all the way over there? Better? Okay, enough with the random water. But seriously? It doesn't even make sense. Uh, cool chat Mike with one bit says hello, Hypno, hello. Where's the trophy room from here? Is it over? Okay, it's up a floor, so it doesn't matter. Whoop. That must be the end of the place. All right. How many Project Ozone 2 videos do I have ready to be uploaded? Uh, I'm about one video ahead. So tomorrow's video is already uploaded and ready to go. Well, dang it. Oh, you know what? I have... I do have a sharpening kit on me. Am I making all extreme crafting items in your YouTube series and also the achievement book? I'm going to keep going as long as people are interested, as long as I'm interested. As soon as I start getting bored, I'll probably stop doing it and look for something else to record. I think I was considering leaving this floor up here, but I think we're just going to get rid of this floor. I think we're just going to open this up and have the higher ceiling and then the only room that should be above our main floor will be our trophy room. That's awesome. Did not realize that was straight to the outside there. Doing some remodeling, we are finally opening up the top part of this area. Getting ourselves a little bit higher ceilings. Guess I could use the hammer.
Ага. So I don't know, is that little ledge, does that ledge need to be here? Maybe I should have left this all filled in that one block instead of removing it. Blocks. Your friend refuses to play Project Ozone? Why? He refuses to play it just because. That sounds like a good reason. I fall down. I've been starting to rewatch uh, Game of Thrones recently. The new season's coming out, I think, in June, right? Any Game of Thrones fans out here? I really enjoy the show. I started rewatching all the way from season one, which probably isn't really necessary, but it's just one of those shows, like, I like watching the entire thing. Yes, in June. Oop, I fell. Is it July or is it June? I thought it was in June. It's kind of disappointing that the series is coming to a close. Like, this season is going to be shorter than most of the seasons. And next season is going to be even shorter still, and that's the final season. But what I did hear is that they are coming out with, like, five additional seasons. Or five additional shows, I guess? They didn't even say seasons. They could be, like, multiple seasons for each show. But, like, based on, I guess, like, prequel stuff. Like, stuff that happens before the story of Game of Thrones. Maybe, I guess, stuff dealing with the Targaryens or whatever. That'd be pretty awesome. Like, if they showed, like, the destruction of Harrenhal and all that kind of stuff. Prison Break, the new season, has nine episodes, only two episodes left. I don't think I've ever watched that. I don't know anything about it. Is it good? Uh, welcome back, Chris. Did I get all the blocks? I must have. Have I ever watched Man in the High Castle? I have not. Is Game of, Game of Thrones on Netflix? It isn't. It's an HBO exclusive. Uh, you can get HBO now. Oh, I left this. You can get HBO now and watch it on their service. That's how I watch it. Prison Break is the best TV show you've ever watched besides Game of Thrones. 
That's some high praise. I kind of want to shave this off. I don't know. Should I do that? I don't like this little ledge up here. I kind of think I want it flatter. I don't know. Probably should put some torches up here though, just to make it look nicer. Light it up a little bit. I like this better. I like the ceilings, the higher. It just feels more open. It feels a lot nicer. That front though, we are gonna have to do something about that. I don't I don't really care for this extra layer of blocks right here, but I think that is holding back water. Oh, maybe it's not. Maybe I can't get rid of this. You have watched Game of Thrones, but just season one, you can't get hooked for some reason. And I was hooked after the first couple episodes, I think. I think I started watching Game of Thrones about the time season two was coming out. I was like, you know, everybody's talking about the show. I'm going to watch season one. So when I watched season one, I was hooked. Like, I've been a fan ever since. I didn't watch season one as it came out, but... I did watch all of it. Really enjoyed it. Okay, we need to do something about this, which is fine. So we need to, I guess just fill that all in. I don't really care about the front entrance anymore. It's easy enough to see where the front entrance is. I do like this design though. That's kind of cool looking. Porch was being weird. So this has this brick right here and this one does not. I think I want to replace these with that brick. better it's unfortunate that that's not quite symmetrical is it it's definitely not symmetrical if I put is that right there Yeah, that's got like what two blocks I guess I could just replace one of these with one of those and that should make it look pretty close to the same better so that's got a pillar there and I removed the pillar on this side 
That's fine. We can always add those later. I like it. I like it. Eventually, I'd like to go through here and replace all the torches and have like proper lighting paths and stuff in here, but right now, that'll do just fine. I'll be changing out the blocks later instead of Prismarine in a... in a Guardian Temple? I doubt it. Spook Life says, thanks a lot. I have no not to go read the books again, but goodbye, life. <laughs> Gotta keep those architectural pillars for the resale value. Mm-hmm. We could get rid of those and open this up a little bit more, but I kind of like those at the same time. This one's different, and I don't... Why is that one so much different? It's because I don't have the... the corner blocks? I wonder why it is like that. I feel like I should add in the corner blocks there and make that a solid 3x3 pillar. The way it is right now, it's kind of weird. Better! Better. Boom, boom. Okay, so now we can move on with our life now that I got that taken care of. That's been bothering me ever since we moved into this place. We're out of space for the extra prismarine, so you go in here. The pillar lanterns. Until we set up some kind of way to automatically kill the guardians and get like this prismarine stuff, I'm not going to worry too much about the sea lanterns. Windows will look good? Yeah, I mean, there will be a time when we go through here and start decorating the place, I'm sure, but I'm not really into it right now. What do I get rid of? What do I get rid of? What is in here that I don't need? How about this one tin item casing? 49er! Your song! Guess I'll just keep that in my pouch because I don't know where to put it. Ladder. There. Brew stand. Where do we want this? Where do we want this little fella? I don't know. How about right there? Good enough. Can you not grind up the prismarine with a machine? I don't know. I don't know if I've even looked. Let's look for the recipe on these. So there's a bee that makes it. We can crush it somehow. It doesn't say how these are crushed. I don't know what this tab means. Does that mean just like in any type of machine that grinds or stuff? I don't know. We can make it out of nether quartz for 30,000 RF. I don't know. Let's see. Can we macerate these or something? Is that what that means? Does not go in there. Those hammers are disabled. Does not go in there. Yeah, I have no idea what that even means. I guess that is a special item. So 
So pretty much the only way to get that is to kill the guardians or laser uh, another quartz. To make a pigment farm with guardians? I guess that'd be an interesting vanilla project. I don't know. Uh, all right, let's take another quick break, guys. I need to fill my drink, use the restroom. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for all the support today. You guys have been fantastic, especially all the bits today. My goodness, thank you again, Captain Mush, if you're still hanging out. Appreciate that huge support. Um, thank you for all the subs, all the resubs, and all the other bits and the tip that we got. Appreciate that. We'll be right back in about three minutes. BRB. back Do. all right what are we doing what's in what's our next plan right now what is the next thing we need to do we got a jetpack made uh ba -ba 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 -ba. so i think we're pretty much out of the under age at this point right the elytra was like the end of it Flight modifier for the environmental tech and nanobot beacon. I think we need the top tier one. What was that? Let's take a look. Yeah, we need the vibrant jetpack in order to do that. I think we could do this if we wanted to spend like the next three years crafting everything. Um. So we'd have to make the energetic jetpack, and then we'd have to do this, but then we would have to make the nanobot beacon, right? Uh...
Do, 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 do. My mouse messed up? No, my mouse is not messed up. I don't know what causes that. Bum, bum. Uh, Emperor, I saw that you donated some bits earlier, but I didn't say thank you for that. So thank you for the 10 bits. The random bits. I guess we'll charge up our jetpack and figure out what our next move is. We might, we might continue on to the next stage. I don't know. We should probably go check on our bees. That's probably what we should do right now. Let's go check on the bee situation. Halo says, I don't want coffee. I just worked for nine hours at a coffee shop. That's understandable. I, on the other hand, love coffee. So good. So good. The high tier jetpack is intended to be kind of soft gated behind auto crafting AE2. Hey, go get our honey. I forgot to bring that. So maybe it's about time we should look into planet logistics. I don't know what it costs. I haven't even looked. I don't even know if that, that might be what we have to do in the next age. I honestly don't know. But getting some kind of better storage situation happening is something I'm interested in. We might look at that here in a minute. Just to see what it requires. Top Miss Take says, I love your stream so much, Hypno. Well, glad you're enjoying it. Welcome. It's chilling. That's what I try and have around here. It's a nice, chill, relaxing stream. All right, what's this princess? Forest Meadows. Forest Meadows, Forest Forest, Meadows Forest. All right, you go back in together. Peace out. Okay, so let's take a look. Automation age. Now that you can create end rods, you can finally make RF tools, machine frames. This opens a lot of options like better automation, auto crafting with RF tools control, the builder quarry, player teleportion, teleportion. That's, that's how you pronounce that word. It's teleportion, teleportation and energy teleportation with the power cells and the dimensional transceiver modular storage and much more so is it not until we get down to like this that we're allowed to do ae i haven't even looked at the recipes yet fusion reactor that's crazy i would imagine automation age is about where we should be able to do that you're able to start with the planet logistics too okay so nine thermal binder Every processor in AE2 requires a calculation circuit. Okay.
That's not bad. That's not bad. So where's the bad part? Where is the bad part? That's not bad. That's not bad. That's not bad. I guess we should look at the inscriber. I wish I did not look at the inscriber. I wish I did not look. What is this? Silver mica. Okay, so we need the void or void resource miner. Machine frame. We need the void resource miner. Stabilized ender pearl and diamond. And diamond is made from. Endstone plus electric diamond plus obsidian, the atomic calculator. This is made from a fire diamond in the conductor mast, whatever that is. Fire diamond is made from an atomic calculator, diamond, blaze rod. Probably this is one, the flawless diamond. So we really need to get into calculator and get all these machines made before we can look at applied energistics. Look at the recipe for the printed circuit again. I saw the refined circuit boards. Oh, you know what? That's right. These recipes down here. But I mean, this is just more of the calculator mod, right? This looks scary because I've never made these before, but I don't know. They might not be that bad. Hit F11. No, my cursor's all messed up. Better. At what point? Why does it do that? Like, it was just working fine. Whatever. Um. All right. Yeah, we have to make all these stupid things. So let's not worry about that just yet. Let's follow the progression of the guide. So we are in the automation age. So we can make RF tools, machine frames, automation, auto crafting, player teleportion. Modular storage, that might be something we should look at. Nutrient distillation. Okay. So that's a vat plus a skull, a mushroom, and water. Or another wart, fermented spider eye. Boom, 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 boom. I think a skull is probably going to be your best option for a 2x. And then on the other side is fermented spider eye. So we need brown mushrooms, spider eyes, and sugar. Hmm. You think you'll make the tool tips red for the next update so the hypno sees them better? The tool tips? Am I missing something? I don't know what you're talking about. Are you the only one who would begin a new world in FTB Expert? I would play FTB Expert again. The so circuits are RNG and are bad and you hate them. The tool tips of the circuit board, for example, or the tubes. I, 
I mean, I understand what you're saying. I don't know why you're saying that. What am I missing that you say you have to make the tooltips red? Like, I mean, I guess I don't understand what you're what you're going on about. So we need to make ourselves a the vet, which requires more machine chassis, which is more of this, more bronze. Uh, I guess we should go grab the items out of the void or miner. All right, uh, bu 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 gold is good, copper, iron. We are pretty much out of iron, so we definitely need that. Anything else in here? Maybe lapis. We're running low on lapis. I want to put looting three on the sword. We could do that with that. I guess we could fortune those apart. Okay, yeah, we'll just let that go. No, you get a million dollars, but any coffee you attempt to drink will turn into tea. Would you take the million dollars? No. A million dollars sounds like a lot until you try and buy stuff with it, and then you're like, oh, it's not that it's not really that much. I don't know. I don't know. Can you have a mil? I didn't say I have a million dollars to give away to whoever asks for it. What I did say is that a million dollars isn't really that much. Now, if you say a billion dollars, that would be different. Never drinking coffee again for a billion dollars. I think I would take that. For a million. No, I'm good. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to confuse you. You unfortunately just can't get rid of all the fake recipes in forestry. You explained to the guy the tooltip, but your recipes were correct because you get confused with the recipes is correct. You explain in the guide and the tooltip which recipe is correct. I think I understand. I just don't know what in particular you're talking about. Though. <laughs> I'm sure it's something that I was looking at. I just don't know what it is. I don't know why you're saying that I'm confused about something that I missed. Cause I obviously have missed it. I just don't know. Okay. Let's put fortune three all up on this thing. Oh, is that? Is that not enough? Wow, I really need to get rid of all of my lapis to get this thing fortune three. Really? Is that... Is that really? Really? Do I want to do that? Is that all of my lapis? I have 40 in there. We have 46 dust. Alright, let's do it. 
Let's do it. Oh, it's not all of it. Okay. I was going to be like, that seems like an awful lot of lapis. Okay, that's that's better. That seems more reasonable. All right, diamonds, emeralds, storage is a thing. We were looking at getting modular storage. That doesn't require power, right? The modular storage. I was going to put these honey drops over here, but there is no place to put honey drops. I can't put them back in here. I'll just keep them on me, I guess, for now. Do I miss the iron chest mod? Not really. No. Uh -uh. So modular storage. I think just any chest, right? Or does this have to be a specific one? Yeah, just regular chest. That, that. So the machine frame is what we need. Empowered pallets. We have end rods. I'm glad I grabbed some of those. Electrical steel. We need four of those. So let's get that cooking up right now. Uh, that's... This four iron. Life is so short for cheap whiskey. Alloys only. All right, so we have that cooking up. I think we already had the empowered palace. If not, we can make those pretty easily. This is the part that sucks. So let's make yet more of these. Did I make electrical earlier? I make a lot of things. That'll be another plate. Uh, we're gonna need four of these. We're gonna need a copper. Um, I think that's it. That, this, one of those, four of these. The two plates rolled out. Is this done? It's done. I need a storage component. Okay, we'll look at that when we get there. All right, problems. Inventory managing here. Okay, that'll do that. Uh, what else do we need here? Another basic capacitor. Copper, electron tubes, uh, two of the gold. Bum, 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 bum. This, this, this. Okay. So four more steel, we're going to need more carbon plates, uh, 11 iron. This is getting pretty old. Just saying. Oh, I do have extra electrical steel here. That's awesome. Um, bronze, three bronze.
In Romania, JD Gentleman is the most expensive one and almost the cheapest ones that you've got. Yeah, the most expensive Jack Daniels here, I believe, is a single barrel. That stuff's pretty good. I like it. I don't really drink it that often. But I think it's about, uh... It's been a while since I bought it. But I think it's like 50 or $60 for about 750 milliliters of it. It's pretty expensive for Jack Daniels, anyway. It's not expensive for whiskeys. So now we need carbon plates. In Romania, $60 is for 750 mil of Gentleman Jack. Hmm. Do they have the single barrel stuff there? Because I would buy that if it's cheaper. It tastes better. You can't handle strong liquor, it makes you sick. Well, not everybody likes everything. Oh, we are, stop, we're out of flint. I just now noticed. There we go, that's better. Getting a little bit of doubles. Sparta Wind says, I like Captain Morgan. I used to drink a lot of Captain Morgan, a lot of Captain and Coke, but it just, I don't know. There's something about the Captain Morgan, the spiced rum. It just tastes too sweet, I guess. I used to drink a lot of Jägermeister too, but that's the same reason. Like it just, it just is a little too sweet. Not my preferred. So where are we at now? We need four steel plates. I think that's all we need. Jägermeister is the best drink in nightclubs out here in Finland. Do you have vodka? I can't say I've ever... No, I probably have had vodka. I've never really tried it. I've never bought any for myself, but I'm sure I've had it in like a mixed drink or something before. All right, so advanced machine casing. We need four of these. Was it four iron, I think? Boop, boop. All right, so now we need. Oh my goodness, I forgot to make another. Then we make that basic capacitor. Then we do that. It's right here. Okay, so we got everything but the iron bars. We might have extra iron bars in here already. We do.
We go get more seeds and put it in there so we have that seed oil for the next time. Should probably go get those pumpkins now. All right, Clever Flames, we'll see you later. Boom, ba -ba -boom. Some beers lover, some beer lovers here. Uh, I'm a fan of strong, hoppy beers. I'm not a beer expert, but I've had like my fill of the national, or I guess nationwide brands. And then I've tried the local micro brews. And the micro brews are generally better tasting. I don't, I, I used to drink a lot of beer. I don't really drink beer anymore. I don't really drink any alcohol anymore, really. Um, but yeah, like I've, we pretty much drink the local stuff here. It's really, really good stuff. I guess we could check on that bee. Now it just says it's a meadows. Oh my goodness, we're never gonna get our freaking common bee. Meadows forest. Meadows forest and meadows meadows. Forty nine er, you've never had alcohol. I guess there's nothing wrong with that. It's just kind of a weird thing, I guess. Uh, hello, UFO. Uh, Chris, you're taking off. You got a lot of work tomorrow. All right. Uh, have a great rest of your day. Have a good sleep. We'll see you next time. I heard of Red Stripe. I think I've heard of it. I don't know if I've ever had it before, but I think I've heard of it. Isn't that like an Australian beer? Red Stripe? Maybe not Australian. I don't know what I'm supposed to I'm not sure. I don't want to love no more. Jamaican. Ah. Because of you. You know, Jamaica, Australia, basically the same thing. Basically. Okay. So where are we at on this? We have the machine chassis. We need these empowered. We need the electrical. And we need the end rod. Electrical end rod. Is it? Can we make them? Can we make the machine frame here? Oh, this has to be done. The carpenter with nutrient distillation. Herp a derp. Derp a herp a derp a derp a herp. Wait, what? What else? Oh, with the empowered blue. These. That's the other part of that that I was missing. Okay, so we need to make ourselves a the vat. So we need four more electrical steel and another machine chassis. Maybe I'll use the same machine chassis that I already have for that. We need some fluid tanks. Don't we have an empty one over here? 
That one's not currently being used. Uh, four iron bars. The four iron ingots and a glass pane. Been a minute since I made one of those, and actually, I should look. Yeah, just the fluid take, not the pressurized one. Glass pane. Okay, it is a glass pane, right? No, it's a full piece of glass. Am I gonna buy a house in Montana or am I moving to a warmer place? I am gonna move somewhere warmer. I'm so done with Montana. It was snowing today. Snowing today. I was so disappointed to wake up and find that it was snowing today. I I'm done. Okay, so there's a the vat. So we need to make another machine chassis. Bad experience as a kid, you saw your dad go through some things with heavy drinking and it turned you off. That's perfectly reasonable. Sorry that that happened. That does suck. Um, no, not that one. I'll make two plates. So we need four of those. Great. Uh, we need. Eight steel. Two copper. What else do we need? Eight more bronze. Do I have the bronze on me? I do. So two copper, steel. That's that's Okay, yeah, that's set up. We just need the two large plates. Uh, Dimitran says bye bye. Have no end chat. All right, we'll see ya. I want to progress and like get more conduits and make machines and set everything up. But it feels like if I'm taking time away from progressing through the pack and using resources for those other things, I'm just wasting more time. Like I'd really like this machine area to be all nice and tucked away and things like that. But I don't know. I don't know. I feel like with how hard it is to get resources and stuff, I'd just be wasting resources to do that. We need to make ourselves empowered redstone again, so let's do that. <clears throat> we'll do four, just so we have extra. It's Ardite and the Rose Red is what it is. I always have a hard time remembering those for some reason. Okay, Rose Red. Uh, garnets, these little guys, those guys, let's laser these. Okay, the amount of crafting you do in this pack time is a luxury. Yep. And it's not just the crafting, it's waiting on the crafting to happen too, like this. I don't think there's a way to speed this up. Um. Okay, so we can start working on this 
So we have those made. We need 11 more iron. Rip all the iron that we had. Uh, bronze, we need three of those. 310. Hellbound Hades said, Evening Hypno, bit of a random question, but how do you find the will to start a new mod pack after spending so much time on previous mod packs? That is why I play other games, you might notice. Like, I spent a month playing Bloodborne, and Dark Souls 3, and then we started into Dark Souls 1, and then I started this pack. I enjoy playing Minecraft, but I can't play, like, all the time. Like, I'm doing YouTube series and I'm doing it for live streaming and things like that. Um, I have to take breaks every now and then, but I don't know, I, I enjoy it. Alright, so there's that. We needed four steel rolled out into plates. Should probably start making some more steel. We're out of iron, though. Ah. They should set up the machine times like they did in Project Dozo 2. They just make the machines like the amount of resource it takes to create the machines. Uh, and the amount of energy that be the bottleneck, not just waiting on stuff. Yeah, machine processing speeds can be sped up. I think that would make this pack a little bit nicer. How's my void miner doing? We keep going over and stealing out all of the stuff from it. Copper, iron, and gold are our main bottlenecks for everything. This should be ready to go for the advanced machine casing. Then we need four of the black quartz and four more iron. That's it. That's the end of my arm. Now we're out. There goes all my iron. We got one piece of iron remaining again. <laughs> Right. Copper electron tubes. You say producing more power speeds it up, producing more power speeds what up? Are you talking about the void miner? Stardew Valley for the win. Stardew Valley was a lot of fun. I enjoyed both playthroughs of that. Although the second playthrough felt like I was just repeating stuff. It didn't feel unique, which was unfortunate. But I still enjoyed. I still enjoyed doing it. Two copper tubes. Perfect. We have to make more copper tubes. Next time we have to make another capacitor, though, unfortunately. Producing more power speeds and power up. I thought that's what you were talking about. I'm talking about machines in general. But yes, if we can speed the empower up, I guess we are not keeping up on the power. That's true. Uh, all right. So I should probably get another bucket of seed oil into here. 
So you gotta remember, there's a little bit of delay. Like, I read the chat, I respond, I do stuff, I look back at the chat, and there's already been at least 15 seconds before uh, you've said anything, and then just because my mind's everywhere, like, I don't really understand what people are talking about all the time. Why are this... Because we need iron. We don't have iron for iron bars. Why are this? That's what I said. That doesn't make sense. Why is this not going was what I was trying to say, and I failed at it. And it's because we don't have iron for the stupid iron bars, because we're out of iron again! So let's go mining. Or let's go check our void ore miner. Hopefully we have like half a stack of iron or something in there. I'll probably have to AFK in this pack overnight and let this thing just collect resources overnight. I mean, I don't know what else to do. If this is on a local server, it probably wouldn't be that big of an issue. We have 10. Maybe an earlier game way of auto collecting resources like a quarry or something. A build craft quarry. Something would be nice. That's like 20 ingots, right? And six of those are going into iron bars, so rip the little bit of iron that we already have. Am I going to set it up on local host? I might end up having to do it just for the amount of time to collect resources. The amount of time that's taking. I might need to. Give me that other iron, there it is. Bum, bum, bum. All right, so there's that. Okay. So we are in the middle of making this modular storage, so we need a chest. No, we need to do this. And the carpenter. We still need the nutrient distillation, which I have not started working on yet. Uh, that. I set this up over here. Why not? Uh, so we need wire connectors. And the wire and the wire connector. Yeah, this is definitely. I mean, with the, how slow the progression goes in this pack, I don't think I could ever want to do a YouTube series on this one. Unfortunately, I'm not saying that that's bad. I'm just saying like, I couldn't imagine trying to do this twice. It's just too much. It'd be way too much off camera stuff to do to make an episode. Um, nutrient distillation. So we needed the fermented spider eye, which is brown mushroom, spider eye, and sugar, right? Do we have brown mushrooms? We have one. We should try and grow this mushroom. I think get apple in my inventory. Can you grow mushrooms in the nether? You could probably grow it in here, actually. Is it, it does, does it have to be a mycelium? No, it can just grow in dirt, right? Or does it have to be a mycelium to grow into the tall mushroom? Now I don't know. I forget. Good. It has to be mycelium if you want it into the tall mushroom in broad daylight.
Stone Lumber Axe, I don't think, would work on that. You thought I was a mushroom expert? You thought wrong. I'm not actually a mushroom expert, I just play one on TV. How much is that? That's that's only 13 mushrooms? Come on! We need more than that. Fortune probably affects that, doesn't it? All right, so we are now up to how many were they? 29 mushrooms. That's a little bit better. Uh, hello, Blackened Haven. This will take five minute, months to finish it. It might. Are you in a rush? You got something better to do than I'm keeping you from? Maybe? Ah, uh, two skulls. All right, so that should be enough to get a decent amount of nutrient distillation. All right, so now we just need water all up in there. How much water does it take? It doesn't say. Hmm. So wait, it did all that for just one bucket of nutrient distillation? So am I gonna end up with four buckets total? Is that what is that what this is trying to tell me? I think that's what it's trying to tell me. Forty nine er says time for me to go. See you tomorrow. All right, forty nine er. We'll see you next time. Have a great rest of your day. Yeah, I think we need four more buckets of water all up in here. Okay, so modular storage. Yeah. So that goes into the carpenter palace, electrical steel. I have electrical steel on me. Do we use it all? We have more over here. We got some right there. You think you've been watching too much hypno? Is that a thing? If you use this catchphrases without realizing it. The great rest of your day thing. Uh, what goes in the center? Is it the machine chests?
We did it! We did an RF tools machine frame! Guys, we pretty much just beat the game right here. Alright, uh... So modular storage. Three nether quartz, four redstone, one chest. Remember the nether quartz that I had over here? I certainly remember it. Chest. Bum, bum, bum. All right, modular storage. You must first insert a storage module item before you can use it. So let's look at storage module. Tier one. Okay, this doesn't look that bad. That's steel. All right, so steel. Tier two. That's not bad. That's not bad. That's not bad. Tier three. Gold blocks. Quartz blocks. This is not bad. This is not bad. So the... I don't think I've ever used the RF tool storage module before. Uh, how much stuff does like the tier three hold, for instance? Does anybody know? Is it worth making the storage module tier three? But you need lots of irons. Does it say how much it holds when you hold shift? I don't know. Ah. So how many storage modules can you put into one of these blocks? I don't think I've ever used this before. Is it just one? Now that's 300 stacks, does that mean 300 times 64 items it holds, or does that mean like 300 unique items that it holds? Even if it doesn't hold that much, we don't have a lot of stuff. Like we have, what, six double chests full of things? Uh... It depends on like 300 unique items. Okay. That's fine. Not everything we have goes in here. Things that are going to go in here are the things we use all the time. Like our ores, our process stuff. Um, all of our crafting things. If we can craft here and pull items from this, that is going to make my life so much easier. It's like a huge upgrade compared to what we've been doing. So we need to work on making these things here. Uh, how are we doing on the iron or the steel situation? Okay. 28. So this is not bad. Let's... And to make the tier 2, tier 3. Yeah, those aren't bad. Okay, so let's do this. 6 steel, 6 string, 6 planks. Um... And six steel. Uh, so gold nugget, iron, redstone. Gold nugget, iron. Oh, we have some steel here too. Uh, redstone we have on us. Can you just go to the tier three? We can, but we have to use the tier previous in order to upgrade it. Oh, no, never mind, never mind. For some reason, I thought that we were using the previous tier. There is no reason to make the first tier. Thank you for catching that. I thought we had to use the previous tier and upgrade them in order to do this. 
Yes, we can make this directly. Good call. Where's all my nether quartz? Right there. Gold. Uh, quartz, gold, iron, redstone, those in the chest. Bum, bum. All right. Why is this not crafting? What do I have to do to make that craft? Oh, you can store recipes here. Yeah, I don't think I've ever used this before. Oh, it's putting in my inventory. Okay, that's how that works. Interesting. That's kind of cool. I like that. Okay. So let's clear this out. Pull that gold out. Let's figure out where we're going to put this thing, first of all. About right here. Replacing both of these chests. I think that's what I want to do, first of all. Uh, so let us... I think we're just gonna put it right here on the floor. So let's break this half. All right, let's just start putting crap in here. Bone meal I don't want in there. Why does it send items flying like all over the place? That's so weird. How does that? This is going to be so awesome. I mean, it's not like the best thing in the world, but it's pretty awesome. And then here you search for stuff. I like it. Also, the little Z next to the stack number lets you change the appearance. Oh, this? Don't show groups, show groups. What does that mean? I probably want it like that, I guess. All right, I guess we can start putting other things in here now that we got like all of our normal resources.
It's not really big storage. It's not applied energistics, but this is going to help us out like tremendously. Those things, most of that stuff I don't really care about. Whoops. So it says right now 132 out of 300. I mean, we're, we still got a lot of space left in here to do things. Like that, and the wood and stuff I want in there. Sticks I probably want in there. Everything else in here I don't really care that much about. Maybe I'll put salt in there. Okay. Uh, like this iron helm and the bone, I don't care. Get rid of those. I guess I could put the saddle in there too. I don't really care too much about that though. This stuff I kind of want. Well, I don't know. This we'll put in there. So we're only using half of it right now. I mean, we still can put in twice the amount. Yeah, those are basically chests with search functions. I like it. I like it a lot. Now the question is, is the inventory stored on this thing? If I break this block, do I lose everything or is everything contained within it still? Can I pick it up and move it? I don't know. Probably should have tested it out with like one item in there. Yeah, this stuff, I think the dimlet parcels I want, probably bat's wing and maybe the saddle. This stuff is garbage. I don't care about that. We'll probably throw that away. It's stored on the card. Uh, these, probably this stuff, that, seeds, you know, probably everything that's in here we could just store in there. Except for these spruce stairs. Why do we even have spruce stairs? I'm not sure. Oh, I made those for that thing, right? I just put all, everything in there. We haven't had to use rubber, like these tree taps, in a long time. I'm sure we will have to here soon. Okay, like these things. Engineer's hammer, probably these books. Um... Those. What else is important that I probably want? Those are the things that I, well, not the survival generator. We'll probably end up throwing those away. Power cube, I don't even know if that's important anymore. It might be. The calculators I want in there. Soul vial, I'm sure I want. Assembler, probably. Probably the rubber, universal fluid, probably those casings. All right, let's see how we're doing on space after all of this. Let's 
Still got plenty of space. I'm trying to be stingy about what I put in there, but I mean, we still got lots of space. Apparently, I block of coal over here. Interesting. Sponges. Probably andesite and stuff are things I don't need in there, but let's just keep adding stuff in here until we don't have room. There's two portal blocks. Those are trash. We don't need those anymore. Longer stream today? Well, we're finishing up what we're in the middle of. But as of right now, yes, it is slightly longer than normal. Uh, that... Dragon's Breath, Heart, Enrod, Elytra... Broja Dragon Egg, Spawner... Magma. Okay, I think that's all we're gonna put in here for now. We still have room for more stuff, which is awesome. I probably want to make another one of these though, have two of them. But that is really, really great. It's a huge improvement over what we were doing before. These steel armors I don't need. Digital guide we can put in there. Okay, what do we got in here? Anything else that needs to be sorted? Fish. Conduit facades. And I'm not even sure why I had conduit facades on me, but we did at some point for some reason. Okay. I think that's good. I think we're good. I think we can finally call it a day. We got a lot of good stuff going on. That storage is really amazing. I'm going to try an AFK if I remember. Maybe let it go overnight or something. To try and get some more resources from our Void Resource Miner. Or Void Ore Miner. We definitely need more iron. I'm. We could branch mine. We've done a lot of mining in this series so far. I'd rather get to the point where we don't have to mine anymore. Uh, but we need resources. We gotta do what we gotta do. Uh, Fault Bat with 100 bits as storage hype. It is pretty awesome. It is pretty awesome. Uh, I wasn't sure if I was going to like the modular storage from RF Tools because I've never used it. I've seen it used before. I've never personally used it, so I didn't really know how it works. I like it. It's expensive to make, but it's definitely worth it. It'll make, uh, it'll make crafting a lot easier, I think. But anyway, that's going to do it for today, guys. Thank you so much for all the support. Had a lot of it today. Uh, thank you so much for the bits. For the tip, the one tip I think we had, the subs and the resubs, you guys are amazing. If you're new to the stream, our normal streaming schedule is Monday through Friday, 8.30 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, which is about 15 minutes ago is when we normally end the cast. We we're going a little bit later today because I was in the middle of stuff. It happens. Um, but yeah, if you want to see more of Age of Engineering, we'll be back tomorrow so you know where to be. You know what time to be here. That's all I got for you guys today. Have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye, guys.